It's green. Yeah. Amen. And then you can share to the group, yeah? Is it? So, what you can do is the link, go to that link, go to the subjects. Now, we take a place. There you go. Paste it. Paste. Check on the subjects. Go to, go to the subjects and uh, hide in a link to live coverage. So you can share on the Facebook pages. Okay, so um, what I'll do when you go to Kenya Chess Central. All right, so Victor, you can now try taking the microphone there as we start. You can start me off, yeah? All right, we are, we are here at the Westlands Pride Inn Hotel, uh, ready for the Chess Kenya elections. And you are aware that uh, this election is supposed to happen last year, but because of the COVID pandemic, you are not able to hold them. So today, the delegates have been vetted by the election board. And we are ready to have the elections being carried out under very clear circumstances. And everybody here is upbeat. The two camps are here, the Bernard Wanjala team and the, the Judy Kiragu team. Remember, they are running as a ticket. There are no individual uh, aspirants. You must belong to our team. So we are ready to see the elections taking place. Ultimately, Looking forward to a great chess Kenya. The good work that has been going on, we believe it will be perpetuated so that we have the National Federation carrying out its mandate of transforming lives and just making chess more visible and exciting to the masses. As you can see here, the people are just really waiting. This is the play, the venue. I can see in front of me, everybody is a bit and anxious. There is our own technical expert, Dr. Victor Ghani, who is hey trying to ensure that everything is running on okay. The outgoing chairman, who is still the chairman until after the AGM, Mr. Bernard Wanjala, is calling the meeting to order. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for this. Uh, before we start, I want to call upon the
Yeah, thank you. Um, as I said, um, I want to call upon the Secretary General of the Chess Federation uh, to tell us why we are here. He's the one who convened this meeting. And of course, uh, verify if this meeting have achieved the quorum to transact the business. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon, all of you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just reading the notice that we sent out on 5th January 2022, calling for this uh, SGL. Pursuant to Article 9, Rule 4.2 of Chess Kenya Federation's National Elections Rules and Procedures, you are hereby given notice of the above meeting to be held on Sunday, 13th February, 2022, at Pride Inn Azua Hotel, Westlands. Of course, the venue changed to this one because of the huge numbers uh, from 14, 1,400 hours. The agenda is as follows. Election of new office bearers. Further details will be released by the National Elections Board. I think the board will read those rules once we've introduced them to, to the party. So that's why we are here today. Now the next thing is the uh, quorum. The, the quorum which is Kenya, for any SGM to start, should be 50% plus one of the uh, members who are registered. The election board, I think in this case will be the registered uh, voters only. Is that it? Dennis and company. I think the registered voters only. The ones who are eligible to vote from the list we have here is uh, 150 members. So 150 divided by two is 75 plus one, 76. I think we are more than that. Is that it? Should be more than 76. Can somebody count for us? Maybe, maybe Morel, can you just take a head count? 150 voters divided by two plus one. We need 76 or more. Meanwhile, uh, amongst uh, the members that we have here, our, our language interpreter, who we are expecting has not arrived. Okay, I'm told uh, Mr. Eric Kamadi is doing it here via Zoom. Okay, there's an interpreter doing it, it's going on, on Zoom. Morel, uh, how far have you reached with the numbers? Where's Borel disappeared? There, you can hear it. You're having the countdown so that we get to know that we have the exact Where's number Borel? of voters who can make the threshold of counting okay, what I'll do, I'll the just people go who are here. So One, the two, outgoing Secretary three, General, John Mukabe, four, is four, busy four, trying four, to coordinate four, all these things four, so that we know what is happening. You started at that corner. You stand up and say your number and continue like that. Six, seven, eight. Continue. Nine. 
This is a great chess day for the Federation of Kenya Chess. So as we keep on counting, the people are just uh, holding um, their ballots in their hands. Than yes. You can hear it from the Secretary General, we are more uh, than 80. The forum, the so the elections can we proceed. Divided right by 2 plus 1, which was uh, 26, we are more than 80. So we are uh, next. We introduced the National Election Board. So the chairman of Chess Kenya, first of all, needs to make an address. Let me introduce the National Election Board. Um, our observers in this election, guests who have joined us in this meeting, members, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good afternoon once more. Uh, first of all, I stand before you uh, with a lot of humility to appreciate the honor you gave me for the last four years. Today's meeting forms the last meeting I'll be presiding over as Chess Kenya Federation President 2017-2021. There has been a great journey and we will have not made it without your support. We have seen great things happen to this association. We have seen People celebrate the marriage that we have made as a family. And one thing that has made me very happy is since we started this journey of having meetings today, uh, from the time we gave the notice, I have seen very mature campaign. I have to congratulate all who are involved. I have seen uh, argument based on policies, this shows that Chess Kenya have grown to be an institution that people aspire to be. We remember very many days back, we could call an AGM like this, and you meet a handful of people who make a very critical decision for the affairs of this federation. Mine is just to say I'm very proud of you, and I'm very proud of this family because we have come a long way to be where we are today. I must also make observation that um, unlike before, where we will call upon uh, people to offer themselves for election, this time we had very great interest. And this also shows that Chess Kenya is growing uh, to be where we want to be. By the fact that we have seen various candidates express their interest to lead this association, it shows that Chess Kenya, we are moving in the right direction. By the fact that the campaign has been so smooth, issue-based, and we continue to talk to each other with it quorum, I must say I'm proud of you guys. As I come to end to this term, 
I want to thank my team uh, that I worked with tirelessly to print chess uh, <coughs> IHPs. Wherever they are, because of the time constraint, I want just for them to stand and uh, wave to you. I know you know them, just for the people who may have not met them to see them. I'll start with uh, Let me start with heads of uh, of commissions or heads, uh, heads of committee. Just stand up where you are. Heads of committee. Yeah, before here we have Mike Asate. He is the elder. When I am having a challenge, he's a man I go to consult, and I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, most of you may not know, he has single-handedly brought chess in PC to where he is with his age. Uh, something you may not know, when last time we received a call from the governor of Nakuru to go and start chess to one of his schools I may not mention, I gave this guy the responsibility and he went with one of the guys. Courtesy of chess, someone was blown out for a very expert role just to go and teach chess. You can just tell them which country we send him. Yes. Yes, one of our chess players is in Belarus, <laughs> teaching chess courtesy of the county governor of Nakuru. So I have to thank you. He was the head of uh, clubs and uh, branches. Thank you very much for the service you gave for this association. Uh, we have Babu, the longest uh, serving chair of uh, lead committee. Uh, I think also we need to give you a bigger challenge. You have really served this association with a lot of dedication. I must, I, I salute you for that uh, big contribution. Thank you very much, sir. I have there uh, FM, <laughs> FI, and FA, Steve Ouma. He is the one who has been behind most of these big events we have been pulling. A man who really works hard to ensure that things run in our events. He is the head of events. Thank you very much, Governor Steve. I salute you for the contribution. Uh, chess Kenya officials, wherever you are, you can just stand up. Uh, the man standing there is the man who also takes care of us in this county. <laughs> uh, you can just say your name, you have a voice that people can hear. Thank you very much. He is the outgoing uh, assistant treasurer or deputy treasurer. Uh, he is the one who keeps our money and uh, uh, kill uh, I have here next to me, Roda. Can I say hi to yes, I'm Jamboni. Yeah. My name is Roda Olisa. As most of you know me as uh, Mama Chess. I'm the outgoing uh, deputy secretary. Thank you very much. She have done well, isn't it? Uh, most of the parents called me and they told me, who is the head of delegation? Or who is taking care of our children? It's cool to have a mother and uh, a lady who is very dedicated. She gave her life to chess. I, 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 Sometimes I meet the, the spouse and uh, thank her, him for allowing Rhoda to play a very critical role in most, most of the events that we conducted. Uh, on my left, we have my uh, principal deputy. <laughs> Just say hi to your people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
My name is Andrew O'Willy, outgoing vice president. Thank you very much, Pan Andrew. Uh, on my left also, we have the guy who keeps money. Uh, just say hi to your people. Hello, I'm Bandera, outgoing treasurer. Thank you very much. And the only secretary general we have, the longest serving player, the longest, uh, the player who have gone for most Olympians and who remains, despite of his, his age, he remains to be most competitive. Without him, the Federation could not run. Allow me to introduce John Mukabe. Yeah, John Mukabe, chess player, coach, official in Bolivia. Outgoing Secretary General. <laughs> People call him the beast. Yeah, I'm very proud of him. This guy, you can call him at midnight, be in the office at seven, and she, she will surely be there. Sometimes we have documents that are urgent. He can never, he have never failed me. All I'm saying is the team that you gave me was a team of great people. And uh, I must say, uh, this is the greatest Chess Kenya team that you'll ever have for two reasons. Number one is the unity that was displayed throughout the team. Number two is the level of dedication that we were able to witness during the, the period that we served in the last four years. So as I step out uh, from this office uh, for the years that you gave me for the last four years, I'm walking out with my head high and with pride and with gratitude for the opportunity that you gave us. Should you feel that we should be able to remain, that is the decision that you will make today. And uh, of course, uh, um, at this juncture, I want to call upon the, uh, uh, the board to come on board and uh, lead the exercise. But before I do that, I want to recognize <laughs> ah, let me introduce them because they are engaged and uh, <laughs> thank you. Brian, just say hi to your people and what you do for Chess Kenya. Hi, my name is uh, Brian Kidula. I am the PR and marketing head of Chess Kenya. I'm glad to be here for this momentous occasion that we are having today. We are going to see who is going to be in office. Thank you. Also known as the local GM, the only one in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, good uh, afternoon. My name is Dr. Victor Nani. I'm the head of disciplinary for Chess Kenya. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, your support for this event. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, also, in our midst, uh, the 2013 Constitution uh, requires that we call other federations or sports uh, organizations to be in our midst. Uh, I want to recognize presence of uh, uh, President of Tennis Federation who joined us as an observer. I know the team will introduce him, but uh, as uh, he's in my capacity, so I have to recognize him officially. Just say hi. Yeah, I know others are on the way. Uh, and uh, we'll introduce, the board will introduce them officially as the role of observer. Allow me uh, this particular moment to now usher in the electoral board to take over. This is their meeting so that they can lead us in the next session uh, of this particular uh, meeting. Welcome, Panachia. All protocol sub members, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm uh, 
Victor Hongo, the chairman of the National Election Board. Here in front, I want to introduce my team, the ones who have been deciding and making things work. Let me begin from here. This is Faith. She's our treasurer. Uh, maybe she can stand up and uh, know who she is. That's Faith. And then there's Christine Berry. She's a member of the National Election Board. Everyone knows him. And then there's Dennis. This one, you have really interacted with him through WhatsApp. He's our secretary. Uh, he, has been, he has been our spokesman. So he talks, we keep quiet. And then we have uh, Patrick, another member of our National Election Board. Uh, this team has done a wonderful job. I appreciate that. And uh, I believe this is going to be a factor. For the rest of the program, um, there's some nomination certificates. I think I want to give uh, the answer of the certificate now. And I want uh, all of them to stand and one person to get the, the certificate. At least you know who your aspirants are. So, as you know, there are only two teams, who are two tickets. So, we'll begin with one ticket. I think uh, Dennis will hand over, I think he'll hand over one. So, we'll begin with the team, uh, team Judy. These are nomina uh, nomination certificates. So one of you, maybe where you are, your team can stand up and one of you to come and receive. Okay. I call upon the observer to come and award the nomination certificates. Okay. Um, I think I'll... Uh, one thing is to the our secretary to hand over the certificates to the aspirants. So this is the team as for Team Judy. So one of you come and collect the certificate on behalf of the others. There we have Madam Judy coming forward to collect the nomination certificates on behalf of her team. She's one of the aspirants going for the seat of Chess Kenya president. There she is receiving a certificate of nomination. Thank you. Just verifying that all the people on our ticket are captured very well there so that we have this seamlessly running on. going to hand over the next team, that's uh, team Bernard Njala, so they can stand up, yes? No, the aspirants will just stand up, at least everyone will see, uh, we will not allow any to talk now, if, they, if that is what you're asking, okay, so... Um, we are following program, and it is good enough for everyone to just stand, just plan to stand and you know them, okay? So the other team is Team Wanjala, everyone, uh, Team Wanjala to stand. So that's another <coughs> group of aspirants. So one of you, Faith, will hand over the nomination certificate to the team. So one of you to come and collect the certificate. There is the current president of Chess Kenya, just co collecting the certificate on behalf of his team. Uh, trying to verify that nobody has been omitted from the ticket. Remember, the elections have been run per ticket, there's no independent candidate. I can hear him saying it's okay. So we are ready to go on with the election for Chess Kenya. Thank you. 
Um, as the chair, I declare all the seats vacant. We are about to start the process. Uh, each, uh, each member of my team has a role here. So the next thing, the electoral rules will be read. And then there will also be voter education, how to, how to tick your candidate, okay? From there, we'll have question period. We limit that to only 15 minutes. So I call upon uh, our Secretary General to come and do the electoral rules. Thank you. Uh, help me appreciate uh, Chairperson for the board. Um, my name is Dennis Mwangeli. Um, the person who was interacting with almost all the chair stakeholders. And even today, we still continue interacting, and even after this process, we still continue interacting. Mine is just to outspell the election rules. First and foremost, I need to state very clear that this board. You are guided by four main documents. And there are documents that are out in the public and can be sent again. You are guided by the Constitution of Kenya 2020, 2010, sorry. You are guided by the Sports Act of 2016. You are guided by the Chess Kenya Federation Constitution of 2021, the ratified copy. And for those who are inquiring, when I talk about the ratified copy, it has At the back here, it has been stamped and signed by the office that was sitting by the time it was ratified. And you can see the date as well, and as well the signature, it has also been stamped. This is the copy that we are all using for reference. The challenge and why it was important for me to highlight that is because when we went in for the SGM, there were certain clauses that were decided by the SGM to be changed. It is very important to understand that the constitution that we are, we are that was being used during the SGM is very different from the one that was ratified. However, only the changes that were agreed upon have been changed. Are we together with everybody? The fourth document that was used for reference to make the decision is the subsidiary provisions, national election rules and procedures. As it says that, the rules been set forth because of time I'll not keep on repeating them over and over again. These rules have been spelled out in, in the four documents that I've highlighted above. The mandate of this board was highlighted or was given reference to Article 94 of the Ratified Chess Kenya Federation Constitution of 2021 that gives the following instances: one, voting to be by secret ballot. One of us will lead us through the electoral procedure. Two, we are to embrace the principle of universal suffrage. Three, free from violence, intimidation. Four, transparent and open. And five, to be administered in an impartial, neutral, efficient, accurate, and accountable way. I guess that's all. I wish you uh, a nice time. Uh, so good afternoon everyone now i'll just uh, briefly state what's going to happen this afternoon so we have a voter register uh, i'm sure most of your names or rather all, all your names are there what we're going to do we're going to have a desk here which we are going to go out and come in uh, having uh, uh, checking your name on the voter register. Someone is going to be striking off your name once you get in. Then I'm going to give you your ballot paper, the one which you're going to use. It's going to look something like this. These are samples, so it looks something like this. We have the blue is Team Onzala, and the red is Team Judy. Uh, and then we have the boxes which you're supposed to tick which are in between uh, the, the boxes, the colored boxes. So uh, for a good vote, you'll have to 
make a marking inside the white box of whichever team that you want to pick. Any markings outside the white box will be considered as a white box. And also, if you make markings on both sides, then it will be considered as a sport board. Uh, the ticket, or rather the, I mean, the ballot paper that you're presented, the ballot paper that you're presented is supposed to have uh, a stamp. So make sure before you uh, mark your ballot, make sure that the stamp is there. And then we have the number, the registration number, or rather the serial number for every ballot. So make sure it also has that. Then uh, after I give you the ballots, uh, you're going to have this as the balloting or rather the, the voting center. You're going to sit here and then uh, in the, in like uh, somewhere where you can place the ballot uh, paper as you take. This is the secret ballot, so there's no one who can see what you're doing here. Yeah? And then after that, you proceed to the ballot box where you shall put your ballot. I hope that is clear. Make this process transparent. I would like to call upon the agents. I believe each team nominated an agent. So I learned an agent for both teams to stand up so people could know. The agents, there's one agent there for Team Mandela. Any agent? And then also who will be observing is also the, well, the observer, I think, uh, should stand up. Yes, these are the people who are going to look at the ballot box, make sure there's nothing inside. They seal it, they look through it, and uh, confirm that it has not been tampered with. Okay? So, uh, the next few minutes, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll invite questions, and uh, we'll limit it to 15 minutes, okay? So, if you have any question, anyone can answer here. The floor is open for questions. Okay. Oh, good. The marking can be a tick or an X. Make sure you just tick one box. If you hate a team, if you put an X, that's your problem. So make sure it's either tick or an X. Do not tick both boxes, or do not tick outside the boxes. If you do that, that would be counted as a spoiled vote. Yes? I would wish to understand what the drop of tick or X. When I put an X on somebody, does it mean you have rejected him or accepted him? Any mark means that you have accepted that person in the box. Yes, but that tick or X? Yes. If you, if you put an X, that so means you have accepted that team, not, your, yeah, not that you have rejected. No, no, no. So don't make that mistake. Okay, thank you. No, it's only within the box. Within the box of the person that you are Yes, yes. Yes, anywhere within that box. Um, the ballot paper has two small white boxes. That's why you're supposed to make your marking. There's a white box on the blue side and there's a white box on the red side. Can anyone see this? 
there are, there are photos here of two teams. In that photos, there are two empty boxes, the white ones. That's where you tick. You don't, you don't tick the picture. <laughs> the box, okay? I hope that's clear. There we have it, the ballot paper. The two teams clearly stated. So that's what the board is trying to clarify. The blue team is for Team Wanjala and the red team for Team Judy. So you tick in either of the boxes for the team that you are trying to vote for. One member was concerned that maybe when you put an X, it means you're rejecting that team. No, that has since been put to rest. It's about just putting a mark in the boxes. Okay. It is clear you mark inside the box. If if there's a problem, I think you can call one of us. These are uh, presiding officers. You can uh, tell them that you have a difficulty and you'll be explained to them. Inside the box, no signing. We have specifically said just a tick or an X. Someone is asking signing, why will you put a signature when you have just said told you to put a, a tick or an X? Any more question? If there are no more questions, I think we can do this. <laughs> no, 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 no. But then that's a good question because those ballot boxes, the, the ballot papers are serialized. They have, we have given it a number. It's between number two and 149. So any other number we are not going to accept. If you destroy a paper, that is spoiled. Okay? If you receive a paper that is not between two and 149, let us know. And again, it has to be stamped. So if it's not stamped, you also tell us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I think I'll take three more questions and then we begin the process. So there's one there, another one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, it's a tick or an X. A tick or an X. If you don't put something that is not visible, then we might say it's spoiled. That's why I'm, asking, I'm telling you, if you have any problem, please let the team know so that they can help you. Okay? Yes? Um, who doesn't know the aspirants? Pardon? The aspirants. Okay. Maybe I can just say once more you stand to see you then. But we'll not uh, give uh, you to talk. Maybe your team can stop, stand up once again for the last time. Just stand here. Yes, please come and stand here. There is Team Judy coming forward. She has expressed her concern that maybe the delegates don't seem to know the candidates. So she was asking if an opportunity could be given for them for facial cognition. And there we have the team coming forward so that we can just get to know them. Okay. 
Okay, this is the team. So I think this is good enough, but I didn't want uh, anyone to talk because the uh, campaigning was over. That is but Tim Judy. Okay, so this is Tim Judy, as you can see. You can wave to everyone and then yes, have a seat. Nice to uh, give us a chance to say our piece. Oh, no. The thing is, you are given a week for campaign. This is different. And uh, you all sent photos, you all sent your manifesto, and everyone has seen you. I've seen the team. You will not allow this platform for any. There we have it, the Tip Judy, they are okay. trying to say they needed a chance um, at least to talk to the electorate, but the chairman of the election no. board has this said the enough. campaign window closed so on Friday, so we just want the members to know because they had the time to now, the introduce Tim themselves to the people, and now it's time for Tim Wanjala to come forward, remember this is a very competitive elections, so they need to have the rules playing out very well, so that nobody feels disenfranchised or disadvantaged in any way. So you can see Tim Wanjala coming forward, to be just seen by the delegates so that you know who you are voting for. Remember, as I said earlier, this time voting is by ticket. There's no individual vote. Or independent voters. Okay. So there they look. Thank you. Very confident. And the other team also looks very confident. So within minutes away, we'll be going to the election proper and uh, should be able to know who will be our Chess Kenya officials in the next hour or so. We have observers who have come around from the Table Tennis Association of Kenya, the president and also the vice president of Table Tennis in Africa. Uh, Mr. Andrew Mudibo, a good friend to the Federation. Remember, Federations work together. They meet in different places and when called upon to oversee or just be an observer at uh, your sister Federation is all the courteous that you show up. So he's here in the house to see. The agents are here. The delegates are waiting. Remember, many questions have been asked. All they have to do is just put an X or a tick in the boxes for the vote to be valid. And they have been numbered from 2 to 149. Anything going beyond that will be an invalid vote. You can see Judy approaching the chair of the board with a certificate of domination. Uh, the spelling, uh, the convey here, the spelling is a spelling error. So that's something that should be sorted out within no time. And there she goes back, trying to make sure that her team is adequately represented and everybody is in the right frame of mind to be part of this process. Chess Kenya is a national federation that governs the sports in the country of Kenya. And we are happy to be having this auspicious occasion in which we are going to have our new office in place. We are about to start. So I'll ask the agents and uh, observer, we want to seal that box and we want to seal it with you. As uh, Patrick has gone for the ballot papers. The observers, the agents are going to confirm that this thing is, has no wallpaper. It is transparent. And they are going to seal it. Okay? So please... I want one. to see. Out. 
just confirming that the ballot box is empty, devoid of any votes that have been put in. And the observer is telling the agent to turn it the other way around. You never know. So that there is transparency in all that is taking place. So there we have it. The two agents of the two camps are there. And very soon we'll be getting to the election proper. The ballots have been delivered. They've been handed over to the chair of the election board. And pretty soon we'll be seeing, as you can see there, the process getting underway. Okay, um, we are going to use this for marking. It's a secret ballot, so you mark here and go and put your vote. So we'll begin from that side where your name will be crossed if you're given a ballot paper. You come and vote your candidate and place it there. Simple as that. So uh, anyone can start voting. You go out, someone comes through there. Start from there. Thank you. The delegates are going out now. They are going to be given the ballot papers and then they'll be. Okay, please come with your ID because we are also using ID to mark the person who's going to vote. Okay? If you don't have an ID, you're not. There you can see the delegates going out of the hall. They'll each come back and there's the voter register. They'll be verified. Baby, I can see our observer, Andrew. Andrew Mudibo is right there. He's talking to Larry Kagebe. Okay, you can see Wakili Karoli Luanga. Hi, Wakili. He's come here to vote. Andrew is there catching up with one of the veteran Kenyan chess players and coach and the CEO and founder of Varidi Chess Ventures, Larry Kagambi. They're in an animated conversation. And there you can see the hall quickly empty now, showing that people are ready to cast the ballot. As we can see also, that's how the, the ballot looks like. On the left, with blue, we have the team Wanjala that we are going to be voting for with a X on that white box. If it's Judy you're going to be voting for, it's, and that's team Wanjala. So the white box is where you put your mark, either an X or a, a, a tick. We have uh, the... the, 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 the the members on the team, you can see them there. 
There is Andrew Willie, there's Gilbert Wandera, John Mukabi, there is Terence Chazima, there is Madame Rosda, and there is a, a new lady coming in, Aurelia Chumo, and then we have got uh, uh, the team just getting ready, and then on th Ivan Magonga, and then also Team Judy, she has put a ticket together with her running mates and a team, and there she is, Madame Judy Kiragu, with her team. We have uh, we have James Kangaru, international arbiter, Judy Club going for the presidency. The president rather, we have Phyllis Bayre, we have uh, Disbas Cage, Dixon Manyala, and uh, of course we have uh, also in the team some people who are coming in, Rose Kenya, and then we have uh, Mr. Kamami and uh, Goody. So that's the team for Madam Judy Kiragu. So these are the delegates who are going to give us the new face of Chess Kenya, they're out there. The process is very, very transparent. And uh, barring any incidents, we hope to have a very smooth transition thereafter. And just see how Chess is going to evolve and develop. Kenya has been known for having set up good standards in terms of Chess management. And also in terms of just uh, uh, being there for the people who are following the mandate of Chess Kenya, which is transform lives. The team that is outgoing has done a tremendous job building up on the foundation that has been laid by previous regimes and just including everyone in the process so that we have a vibrant and uh, a federation that cares for its members. And uh, that's what we are here for. That's why the people have turned out in high spirits, eager to cast their vote because each vote counts. It's going to be interesting to see how it pans out. We have uh, various teams that have come from Kisumu. The sub-branch of Kisumu has come here. We are from Mombasa, from all over the country, Kitale. They are all here, Nakuru. They are all here to just ensure that they have a place in history as those who voted for the new office that is coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Pride Inn Hotel in Westlands, in the capital city of Kenya, Nairobi. It's a sunny afternoon. And we know the sun is going to shine on one of the teams that will be declared eventual winners. And there'll be celebration in one camp. And there'll be some, maybe asking themselves, those who end up losing, where did we go wrong? But again, all said and done, we are sure everybody is fine because they have the interest of chess at heart. And they like to see this game growing. So I'm sure they'll pull together and just uh, make sure that this team is working well. I'm here seeing the Secretary General. Uh, dear Dennis, how has it been planning for this event and just making sure that everything goes on smoothly? Uh, to start with, my name is Dennis Mbogo. I've been the, I'm proud to have been nominated as the Secretary to the National Elections Board. Ever since we assumed the office on 28th of November 2021, the process has been quite tedious. I've learned a lot uh, regarding elections. We had to be independent. We are still independent. I'd like to clarify that to everybody else. And we are just hoping that the National Elections Board that will not do this because I'm in power today or because I'm not in power today. We are doing this for generations to come. We give a better federation for times and times to come, not just because of us. Great, Dennis. I'm sure there have been many questions coming your way in regards to maybe verification of the voter register yes. or how the process is going to be free and fair. Yes. So far, what has been the main challenge and how have you man managed to surmount that? The only challenge that I can say I was uh, made our work more this year, uh, our work more heavier is the fact that most of the chess stakeholders who are engaging us, they had not gone through the constitution into details. As I started by saying, the decisions of the board, especially myself, we were guided by the first document being the Chess Kenya Constitution of 2020 of 2010, um, the second document of the Sports the Sports Act of 2016 was of the Chess Kenya Federation Constitution of 2021, and lastly this Constitution the subsidiary provision elections of 2021. The problem is many people read the Constitution of the Chess Kenya Federation Constitution. 
but they forgot to read the sports act. So at all times when we were making our reference or when we were making a decision, we had to be guided. What does the sports act say in this point? What does the sports registrar or what does the sports registrar recommend us to do at this point? What does the Chess Kenya Federation Constitution state? What does it say that we need to do? So the reason as to why I'm saying this is there are some articles that we, that were a little bit conflicting, but with the reference given to the four documents, they were made as a Mm. So the main challenge was the fact that many people had not read the constitution first. Yes. All right, other than that, you are looking forward to a smooth operation? Definitely, definitely. As I said, whatever happens, the outcome of this will be what will determine chess and chess in Kenya for the next four years. Our motive and um, what I was guided to do and what I was entrusted to do by the stakeholders was to make sure that we have a federation that one has the best leaders and number two, to spearhead chess and so that we can into greater heights. So I'm, I'm very positive that we're going to get the best of leaders today. Whichever team wins, we want the best uh, for the Federation for the next four years. Thank you very much, Dennis. Thank, Thank you so very much. much. I can see also here coming is the national champion for people with disability. Hey, Saddam, my friend. Saddam. Yes, so now is the... Saddam, come. Yes, so is the national champion for people with disabilities. But Saddam here has represented the country in many events. Most recently, he was in the city of Greece last year, October, playing in the World Amateur Chess Championship. Saddam, how are you? I, I, I know you have been very active on social media, encouraging your team to come forward and vote. Are you looking forward to a free and fair election? And what is your take insofar as these elections are concerned? What I really hope is for a peaceful election. There's life after election, and we, life will continue. Chess will continue. We, we just need uh, Kazi and Kazi, saying, Kazi and Dele yeah, says Kazi. good work must go on. Yes. That's Kazi and Dele. Yes. I, I don't want to ask you who you're going to vote for, but I'm sure your mind is made up. Yeah, <laughs> One month ago. Yes. Tell me about the PWD. The, 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 the team that you came together with, I know you are writing a constitution to help you run your, federal, your, your outfit. How has it been and how is it coming up? How is the membership growing? How has the peer, do, do they feel included in the national affairs of the federation? And what future is there for people with disabilities in this country so far as chess is concerned? One month ago, no, sorry, one year ago, so far, the battle is very well. Now we have formed a foundation for the, for the team Para. We have officials. I'm the current chair, man for Para Chess Club. I was selected through vote. And we also have a treasurer. We have the secretary. And through, through by the system of chess at the government, uh, we will plan to help and bring more people with disability on board for the for the game and they have helped us chess uh, and help uh, people with disability has motivate them it has given a bright future for them that is hope everywhere and the, the inclusive inclusion of people with disabilities i like it uh, i like the disability friendly the halls uh, especially i remember uh, village market open which was very wonderful place that uh, it was hosted and i really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much. I can see the votes have started coming in. So we can see. Sorry, 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 sorry some technical. Oops. Sorry. You can see a voter there, Esther Judith Awinja, casting a vote. She's clearly uh, exuberant about the whole process. She wants to get a team in office. Sorry, sorry. There she has cast a vote. She seems satisfied. And uh, there they are. As you get your ballot, you come to the ballot box. Saddam has just gone to the secret ballot box. His vote is secret, but for the win of Kenya chess in general. So there he is, straight, straight from our interview. Ras is at, um, Saddam is also an accomplished football coach. Believe it or not, he has been winning trophies for his team. And is here just to decide the future for chess and make an impact. There is finished. He's made his stick. He's now going to cast his ballot. Yeah. And he goes to the 
ballot box, which initially on had been cleared that it was free. And as she casts a vote, she says, Kazi Yendele. In other words, meaning work has to go on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is live from Pride Inn Hotel in Westlands, Nairobi. We are having the Chess Kenya elections. So we'll be waiting for other members to come and cast their votes one at a time. The process is very transparent. The agents for both camps are here. And uh, as we wait for them to come, we are excited that uh, we are going to continue doing what needs to be done for country and the chess stakeholders as a whole to make the game more friendlier, more um, uh, covering most of the regions, and that's what chess is all about. We are one. There we have her. She's uh, ready to cast a vote. She's She's uh, Ankungu, she's uh, casting a vote there. She seems to be very excited. She knows she is part of making history in the country and she cast a vote. There she is, beautiful as ever, smiling. And I'm sure she's very happy about her choice today. Remember this uh, delegate who was, what if you change your mind after casting your ballot? And they were told very clearly, there's nothing of the sort. You have made your vote, it counts. And we are not going to allow any more amendments to be done. Up next, hey Jackson, you're supposed to come to the secret ballot box. He, he misses it. There's Jackson Kamau. He has already ticked his. And there he is casting his vote. Done. <laughs> Jackson Kamau, come here. How was it? Uh, how is the voting process for you? Are you happy about this? Day that we are now finally having our elections. I'm pretty much happy with the way things have been carried out. What we call in school Mutaratara. Mutaratara. Mutaratara, yeah. yes. That means due process. Due process, fantastic. Yeah. And we're happy with what we see. We're hoping that my candidate, will. I'm not going to announce, but he's the incumbent. But any, I, did say, <laughs> I did not say. There's no incumbent because the seats were declared vacant, so we don't know who you're talking Crazy. about. Thank you very much, I'm Jackson thinking. Kamau. He has cast his vote there. And he says, Mutaratara, things, the due process has been followed, and you are happy. <laughs> as they keep on trickling in, as they keep on coming, I can see next in line there is a uh, FM Steve Ouma, who is waiting to be given his ballot paper. There he has received it and is asking now, do I fold it? And there he is ready to be sure that he doesn't tear it apart and is going straight to the ballot box. How are you, Steve? How is it going for you? Yes, are you excited about this day today, the process, everything? <laughs> IBC is the national board that runs elections in Kenya. So he's saying they should go for the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission of Kenya so that they can run it. So cast your vote. Thank you. Thank you. And there is also Ben Guku. Recently he just made it again to the national team of Kenya. There is Joseph Methu, also of KCB. Uh, they are going to cast their votes. And we, I don't know, it's a secret ballot. So you can't tell who they are voting for. You can't even tell from their body language. Guku is working fast, very fast. And... Uh, So, Nguku, how was it? How was the voting? Um, I think the first place to start is, I think, the overall organization of this uh, event or activity is quite professional. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's run smoothly so far. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to, you know, uh, seeing it being concluded in the same spirit and getting to know who takes the office after us. Fantastic. And obviously, yeah. whoever wins, we give them our full support. I told you, well put, Google. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. There we have uh, candidate Master Ben Bagana also coming in to cast his vote. He came all the way from Kisumu County just to make sure Chulaimbo in particular is the Chulaimbo, reigning Chulaimbo chess champion for life. He came in to cast his uh, 
vote and it will be going back immediately after the elections have been announced, the results. And that's the sort of dedication and commitment we are seeing from the chess players. Here is Ricky Sang, a member of the national team, former member of the national team. Just before he goes to cast his vote, Ricky, how has, been it, how has it been for you to the build up of this election day? Well, it's not so much the last couple of days, but more what has been the demonstrated work of the Yes. So you look excited. Do you have a candid in mind already? You're going to decide it's when you get it. It's a secret ballot. Okay, <laughs> okay, Rick. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, obviously, I wasn't asking for who he's going to vote for. I just wanted to know if he has made up his mind or he wasn't sure who he's going to vote for. <laughs> All right, there we have it. We, we have had the. Uh... <laughs> All right, there is Steve Okeo going to the secret ballot box. And is. Uh... Is it Steve Okeo? No, it's not okay. Is it Steve? Yeah, he's going to vote, and uh, the process is going on smoothly so far. Everybody seems to be happy. And we'll also remember, Victor, we'll also have to remember not to fail to vote. Yes, absolutely. The tendency is that you get uh, bogged down by this, you completely get engrossed and uh, forget to vote. No matter the outcome, um, we, our vote will still count. It's an important part of the plan. Yes, we'll have to remember to vote. Thank you. There's veteran Martin Oyamo just casted his vote. Is okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Because at least you don't have to 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 have Hello, if you have voted, um, there's a T on the other side, you can go and have the other side of the room, okay? For the guys who have voted, please go to the other side of the room. Uh, the president, the chairman of the election board was just trying to remind the voters that if you have cast your ballot, you can go to the other side of the room and have a cup of tea just to renew your energy. There we have the process is going smoothly and the voters are looking confident, each one praying that their candidate wins or their team wins. There's Brian Mata. Just get into the ballot, secret ballot to tick his vote. And he seems to have made up his mind already. And there he goes to cast. He puts the vote in the ballot box and he's there he is. He has done it. Evelyn Gishuru is looking for a pen to be able... I think there's a pen in the ballot box. Is there a pen? There she is, looking at, uh, she's supposed to be down there so that nobody sees. Yeah, I was about to see it, so that's Evelyn Gishuru. 
the founder of Membley Chess Club, a club that empowers young kids and doing very well in terms of uh, giving them training and coaching. She's been a member of the Kenya national team. She has been a national team coach and there she is casting a vote, knowing very well where she wants the future of chess to be and putting that in safe hands through the vote that is a constitutional right. And she goes straight to have a cup of tea, very satisfied. Tomorrow being Valentine's Day, people are just happy, looking forward to celebrating whichever way they will with the chess victory for whichever team will be there. Remember, this has been a process that has been put together by the election board that was uh, mandated to do this task by the members themselves during a special general meeting. So it has no bearing whatsoever to the outgoing office. This is a member-driven, stakeholder-driven initiative. And as we cast our ballots, everybody is happy. Their views have been heard. There have been a lot of campaign. And of course, these issues sometimes get very emotive. But all said and done, it's because of the love and the passion and the desire to see chess grow that everybody is coming forward to make their voice heard, to be part of history. And they can always say, I played a big role in making chess what it is because we put the right people in place. And this is it. Democracy is all about. And everybody is a winner, as we heard from one of the voters here, that whichever team comes through, that was Ben Guku, veteran chess player, Whichever team comes through, we are all winners because it's for the good of the camp. The people will have decided. It's a democracy. There is a Sati Michael, the one you heard about from the county of Kisi, who has been very instrumental in making chess flourish in the branch of Kisi. Remember the constitution mandates us to have branches, and there is a Sati going. There is Kosi Dunford all the way from Mombasa. He's also come to cast his voice, a veteran of Kenyan chess. He has been there, seen that, done that, and he's here just to make his voice heard. I'm happy that people could travel far and wide to be part of this process. And that's what it's called commitment. There we have Nicole. Nicole <laughs> who is also coming to cast a vote. And the young girl seems to be looking at what is she doing? When I grow up, I want to also be part of this history of chess in Kenya. So there we've got the young girl looking at what Nicole is doing. And uh, this is it, molding the future. As she whisks the baby away and cast a vote, she's proud to be one of the people who will go into the history books as having voted for the new Chess Kenya office. There are many events lined up in this Chess Kenya calendar for this year. Up next, we are having the Kenya Open, traditionally held over the Easter holidays because of COVID. It wasn't held last year. And now people are just uh, gearing up for that will happening uh, April 14th to 18th right here in Kenya. The venue will be communicated, but everybody is looking forward to that. And this will be the first task. The new office will be running in one of the official chess events in the Chess Kenya calendar. Of course, there are many other events that are being run by club that will be taking place. We have the Capablanca Cup coming up uh, in February, I think February 19th. There are many events that are lined up. We just had the National Nairobi Region qualifiers taking place yesterday to select the team that represent Kenya, and the other regions will also be hosting theirs. And then the finale will be held around to have the team of youngsters. There we have him, Fred Sagwe. Remember, he walked all the way to Nakuru from Nairobi to raise funds for chess to be included in the school curriculum. He's very active, chair of chess in schools. And there he is casting his vote and saying, yes, I want to be part of history. And we are happy that... Uh, Everybody is uh, just doing what they need to do. There's my good friend. The name disappears. Wangombe Ben, there he is casting his vote. And he's quite happy. One of the youngsters, upcoming youngsters, and he just wants to see. Also getting into the ballot box, we can see here, right there, the World Youth, uh, the World Amateur Under-17, Under-1700 17, Chess Champion, but Delta. There she is, casted a vote, and she was in Greece when she won this uh, coveted um, 
title last year, October 2021. She is casting a vote and she knows what the future holds. Obviously, excited about what is going to happen in the coming days. And we are just here to see how it all goes. Keep it here, we'll be live until the votes are counted and finalized. And then the winners declared and we just see what case is going to go through the future. Uh, that's Julie Mutisia casting a vote. She just made the national team again recently during the Olympiad qualifiers to choose the team for the national team to bring the country in Russia. There she is. She made the team and uh, making a vote count so that the officials that come in can ensure she's on that plane going to represent the country. Julie, very enterprising young girl who has been working very hard to be where she is right now. Yeah. Everybody seems to be in an exuberant mood and we're just happy to see that everything is going on well here as we vote. Yeah. All right, just casting the battle now, that's Teresa Mwendwa, one of the strong chess players in the country. She is uh, in the national team also. And uh, they are joining, I don't think this by design, but also joining is the national champion, Martin Jorogi of KCB, just casted his vote there. Won a Mazda Demio in the recently concluded national championship held in 2021. And he drove away in a Mazda Demio and also just made the national team last week during the final phase of the Olympia team selection qualifier. Not to be left behind is Francis himself, he's casting his vote, he's the one who designed all this process of voting, so he must be knowing what is supposed to be done. All right, joining us next, the chairman of Kenyatta University Chess Club, Karugu, right? Yes, is there cast, Karugu, yes, is there cast this vote? KU traditionally has been known to be a stronghold for chess. Even the outgoing chairman was the captain of KU. So I'd say, I'm sure the young man is following in those footsteps and one day we'll see him vying for chairmanship. There is Zadok Nyakundi. Yes. yes, he's also excited about casting. But I think this is the first time he's voting in his life, just barring the national elections that are coming up on 9th, 9th of August this year. There we have uh, Lennox Mangi. The guy who has the repeat record of having beaten the LGM in a fixture one day and he'll go down in history. Agnes Tuo has also been in chess for quite a while, but she went to stay out of the Oscars of Nairobi. She was in Mombasa for a very long time, but here she is coming back. Last time I think I saw her was during the national championship in 2019, but here he is back to vote and make it count. <laughs> Hiram Gakembo also making his vote cast, count rather. He has made up his mind. He knows what he wants. Uh, and there he's done it very fast. Very happy, satisfied. Uh, there we have Chikarito. Uh, this name disappears. Sidoya uh, Evans Chikarito. I call him Chikarito. I think this guy is interesting. <laughs> One of the players has come all the way again from Kisumu, I think, to come and just make this vote. So I leave you with the voters as they cast their votes. As we take a commercial break, so I'll we'll be right back after this.
That is Elvis Likoko, a very strong chess player, uh, probably a future national champion, uh, casting his vote. He's followed uh, shortly by Timothy Mwabu. Timothy Mwabu has been one of the strongest uh, juniors on the scene for a couple of years. Um, school took him away, and he is now back having just finished uh, high school. I represented Kenya in Ghana recently, and uh, he's known as a terror on the board, uh, casting his vote. He just passed the age of 18. This is his first vote anywhere uh, in his life uh, as an adult, and uh, he is one of the key players to watch going forward. Timothy Mwabu, uh, strong chess player. That is Morello Mondi, the founder and CEO of Star Heights Sports Academy, uh, based in Lovington, operating within Nairobi. Uh, one of the newer sports academy, but Morel is a very strong chess player in his own right, uh, having established a sports academy that's mentoring very many young juniors. It's the junior scene that's contributing to the growth of chess in Kenya, and these are some of the coaches who are making this possible. Uh, the strength of the juniors now is visible, thanks to coaches such as Coach Tom Amwai, Morel Omondi, uh, Larry Kagambi, Steve Ouma, a set of coaches who um, follow Mbui in Mombasa and the entire team, a uh, shout out to Hugh Misiko and the rest of the team are uh, represented now by Morello Mondi. Sitting down to vote now, that is Edwin Odiambo, the chairperson of Eastlands Chess Club. Um, Eastlands has been producing recently some of the top juniors um, in, in Kenya. That they've been participating, a very small number, yes, but all those who participate are essentially uh, top players. Uh, Larry Kagambi coming up next. Larry Kagambi, uh, the founder of Waridi Sports Ventures. He has been in the chess scene for a long time, one of the icons, and also now a chess parent. Um, proudly um, training and supporting Angel Kagambi and Jeremiah Kagambi, who have been very strong players uh, in Kenya. Um, Isaac Babu. Isaac Babu is responsible for uh, the leading sports club, arguably, in Kenya in terms of uh, many factors, KCB Chess Club. Isaac Babu has been on the chess scene for very many years. He also chairs the National uh, Chess League, uh, 
um, and uh, has been uh, instrumental in many offices throughout the last two or three decades in chess. That is Isaac Babu of KCB Chess Club and a uh, big benefactor uh, to chess. Coming up is uh, Titus Kirega. Titus Kirega is the founder and CEO of Prox Chess House. Prox Chess House is probably the biggest and leading technology uh, group in uh, chess in the continent of Africa. Uh, the payments for events, they've done uh, fantastic progress to automate that. Uh, live coverage of events, Prox Chess House has been instrumental. Uh, similarly, uh, creating sports equipment and just developing chess. Uh, innovation and stepping up chess matters in terms of visibility, in terms of um, leveraging technology. Titus Kirega and the team have been instrumental. Thank you very much. Taking her seat to uh, cast her vote, uh, this is Cynthia Obondo, the 2021 Mombasa Open Ladies Champion, but also now one of the national team members that will be representing Kenya in the World Chess Olympia to be held in Russia later this year. Uh, one of the players who's been a revelation, she has played chess for barely two years and currently has been uh, sending shockwaves across the scene, um, always on the top boards, Cynthia Bondo. Taking his seat is uh, Fide Abita Moses Maina. Uh, Fide Abita Moses Maina has been instrumental in uh, the new heights that arbitration in Kenya has taken. Uh, events start on time. Just yesterday, he was the chief arbiter in the Kenya National Youth Chess Championship qualifiers, Nairobi region event that went extremely well. Um, the level of arbitration in Kenya has been going up um, progressively. It's thanks to Moses Men and team, uh, a, a, a very competent team of arbiters that's been raising the bar with every successive event.
and that is uh, Yumi Siko. Yumi Siko has been a coach in the western part of Kenya, Eldoret, Kitale, Bungoma. The strongest chess players in the country now is a young, a young girl who is barely 11 years old, Elizabeth Cassidy. A discovery by Yumi Siko, who has been coaching her. Um, he is one of the coaches who has been instrumental in developing talent across uh, Kenya and a very strong player in his own right. Hugh Misiko will not play the Scandinavian against Victor Ngani anytime soon, but he's a very strong coach and player. Um, that is uh, Hillary, um, always on the top boards of chess. Uh, he's decided that he's going to vote publicly for everyone to see where he put his vote on camera and uh, before he puts his vote in the box. Uh, again, that is a confidence of Kenyan chess players. Um, he feels the decision is right and even though he has the right to vote in secret, he has opted to do it publicly. Uh, thank you very much, Larry. Cheryl Ngema, um, one of the strongest chess players in Kenya over the last 10 years, um, making, taking her seat to place her vote. Uh, Cheryl Ngema has been in the country in many, many events and um, continues to support the development of junior talent through training and participation in uh, numerous uh, L levels of organization. Many people will not know who the lady sitting down is, but that is Linda Abur herself. And there was a time she was by far the strongest chess, female chess player in the country, uh, terrorizing uh, players in the open category. Uh, the second player after her would be many, many miles behind. Linda Abur um, has been away from the chess scene for some time, but when she's played direction for your vote. And that is Dr. Daphne Mikali, who is now sitting down to contribute to the direction of chess in the country. Again, she has represented the country in multiple chess Olympiads, in multiple events, and again over the last decade. She may look young, and yes, she is. Chess doesn't um, mind age, but from a very early age, back from campus, she has been presenting the country in chess events across the globe. Uh, that is Paul Mbui. Paul Mbui is the chairperson of Mombasa Chess Club. He is a coach in the coast region. Coast region has uh, come up dramatically because of his leadership, and very many strong juniors now come from the coast region. He is a strong coach in his own right and a strong player in his own right, and he has adopted fairly modern methods that's been able to lift the children up. He's also responsible for organizing one of the best ever organized events in Kenya, the Mombasa Chess uh, Championship 2021 um, that uh, was held in a five-star beach uh, hotel, um, and uh, that is yet to be rivaled. Uh, we look forward to what Paul can do, and we do pray that he's voted wisely for the Federation. And ladies and gentlemen, the gentleman there is uh, Brian Kidula himself, the LGM. LGM stands for Local Grandmaster. Uh, LGM is a founder and CEO 
of Terian Chess Academy. Um, he has been instrumental in developing technology in Kenya, uh, broadcasting he bought the first digital boards in Kenya. He has uh, been involved in multiple events in Sarit Center, in, uh, in um, Village Market, in uh, Galeria, uh, and even now this very broadcast is the good voice you're hearing behind this particular broadcast and the brain behind this setup that we have today. Uh, Brand Kidula, God bless you. Casting his vote right now, that is uh, Paraz Gudka. Paraz Gudka has really fought for chess during the dark ages of chess. He was uh, struggling through establishing the Westlands Chess Club that then ended up taking a break, but is now back running. Uh, he has been instrumental in just developing chess in an apolitical way. Uh, Paraz Gudka, thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm right back here. The elections are going on well. I've just cast my vote and uh, <laughs> the feeling was exhilarating. So we are here to see, I can see, arriving there is national team called Toma Mwai. Recently had a very successful event at uh, St. Bakita School, tournament that attracted close to 400 kids. And uh, there he is casting his vote, accomplished coach, a gentleman by nature, quiet, but his vote is going to shout out loud. So there he is as he casts his vote. People are just enjoying themselves. Some are having uh, a cup of tea and some dazi, some nice food, some nice cities there. The voters are just happy and we are happy so far, so good. All is going on well. Uh, here I'm joined by also Tony Mutua is going to vote. I've been asked not to interfere with the voters. <laughs> international arbiter Tony Mutua and international organizer is uh, done many events and there he is going to cast his vote because he knows the future of arbitration and chess in general depends on this vote that we are going to cast to put the people in office. And uh, a young man who has achieved and he's just happy to be part of this history. Today, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big for Kenya Chess Federation. There was some clamor some time back that the office had outlived. They are staying, many things, running around on social media. But now this is a chance where now we put everything to rest. But they should not forget that um, this dispute was taken to the Sports Distributor and Tribunal 
who ruled that we had to comply to the Sports Act and gave the Chess Kenya a window within which to align itself to the Sports Act. And that was done when we ratified the Chess Kenya Constitution that paved way to these elections that we are having today. And therefore, for Kenyan chess players and uh, chess stakeholders, parents, teachers, players, everybody involved, it is a big win, and the outcome of it is going to be even more exciting for the stakeholders just to know who is it that we have put in office and who is it that is going to be the servant of the people to help us take chess to greater heights. I'm impressed basically by the turnout. People have been very patient. They started streaming in as early as 11.30. The elections were slated to begin at 2 p.m. That's 1,400 hours GMT, but did not begin until 14.35. 35 minutes slight delay, but that's expected due to some unforeseen situation. But here they are, very patient waiting, and we are happy that we are all here to cast our votes. And this is going to be a defining moment because they hit the ground running. They have no time to celebrate. Tomorrow maybe they can take their loved ones out for Valentine. But then on Tuesdays, back to work, back to the drawing board. Whoever comes into office, they have their work cut out. Uh, there are many continental events lined up, the local events lined up, and they have to be ready for that. They are going to cast a vote. Is Sasha Mungeli, one of the top players in the country. She also made the national team. She was voted the Sportswoman of the Year in 2018. And here she is. She was in, she was in Greece for the World uh, Amateur Chess Championship in 2021. And she's the current national champion for chess in Kenya. And there she is, Sasha. She seems very happy with herself. And there, the former national champion also takes her place. Last, the last 2018 national champion, rather, Joyce. She's there casting her voice. She seems to be smiling behind the mask. Let not uh, quiet them in and mislead you. She's a beast on the board. And she's just happy to be part of this history making process. We're excited. The voters are excited. And all is going on well. We expect to be done in a few minutes' time. But it's not about how fast we finish this, it's how well the whole process run. There is a verification desk. At the entrance, first of all, as you come in, at the main entrance, you have to use your identity card, identification papers, to show that indeed you are a registered delegate. This is because in the past, we have had people come in to mar the elections. People have just been registered, particularly for elections. But now this time around, you have to show your identification at the security desk. Then once you're allowed into the hall, still, there is a verification desk with the complete voters register. Your name is checked against your identification papers. And then it's, it's, it's uh, highlighted once you've been cleared. And then you go to the next desk where you're given your ballot papers. And then you come now, eligible, eligible now, to vote. So it has been well organized, it's been uh, coordinated. We really want to appreciate the team for their utmost dedication to this process. They have been having sleepless nights. As we have had in the past, people are disgruntled. It happens with such emotive elections in place. And they have been there to satisfy their curiosity by making sure that they address all the questions that have been raised. And everybody here is happy coming into this election process. All right, one of the candidates on Judy's ticket going for the post of Secretary General, Dr. Dismas, there he goes to cast his vote. Uh, very positive outlook of life and uh, he was raising some pertinent issues about why the team wasn't being allowed to introduce themselves. But then the chair of the board stuck to his guns and said the electioneering period was over and now it's time to let the people decide. The people, are the candidates themselves have done their campaigns over a period of time and now it's time to, to let the votes count. I'm very sure, 100%, though I may not guess, but he's voting 
for Tim Judy, of which he is a member. There he is, he has cast his vote, and now we wait for count. One of the veteran chess players there arrives with his muscles flexing. That is Silly Philip Singer, he plays for KCB. He has been a member of the national team for a long time. He is uh, very active still in chess, and he is happy to be just part of this process. And that shows the commitment. There is Bob Bodiambo, a member also all the way from Kisumu to come and cast business. Maybe you might tell us, come on. Welcome, sir. How are you? Yeah, that, that's, that would be okay. We can hear you properly. So tell us, how was it and uh, how is it so far for you? I think uh, this has been an intense process. Uh, you remember this process has been going on since uh, uh, October 2020. Uh, it was briefly paused in 2021, uh, January, actually on 27th of January. So then we had a, a whole year of reflection, going through a bit of a uh, um, uh, I think what the nation was going through. But it's been an intense process, uh, lobbying behind the scenes, trying to draft manifestos, trying to talk to potential voters, educate them, and uh, speak to the things that matter uh, the most to them and to chess fraternity in Kenya. So and there's been a lot of things to learn along the way. Uh, obviously, uh, as you, you come together as a team, with different ideas, you also talk to uh, your opposition from time to time to learn what it is that they are looking at. So, so there's been a lot of things to learn, a lot of uh, positive things. Occasionally, I think uh, just like uh, it happens in any election process, uh, you you can't miss a few occasions when I think people become extravagant either with words or people become candid with one another and sometimes passionate, you know, they demonstrate, which is really a positive uh, a positive thing. Thank you very much. Going before the election process began, the real balloting began, you are very vocal in raising an issue regarding maybe the members of Team Judy not being given a chance to introduce themselves. Do you think that was going to make a difference or what is your take on everything that has been done so far by the board to make this the world? I mean, absolutely. I think it's a, it's a process. It's a political process. Uh, so seeking political office is, is a, it's a process that has certain rules and principles. So obviously, it is really nice that we have a structure such as the National Elections Board, uh, you know, with specific mandates to oversee this process. Uh, but I think the point I was raising is the fact that uh, a common decency uh, requires that um, if there is a an opportunity for candidates that will be voted in, uh, just an opportunity to uh, greet the people and, and perhaps introduce uh, the team. It doesn't have to be a, an opportunity to give speeches, you know, just so people can uh, can have a sense of who is in this team. At least people already had an opportunity to appreciate uh, who is already in the current office. In any case, they have worked with the office for the last four years. And so the reason is important is uh, so, so this already... Uh, a presidential candidate and a team, I think the least you want to do is to create that big thing so that it does appear that we appreciate, uh, we already, you know, preparing them, making them presidential the way they already are. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank uh, you for your time yeah. also being with us here. There you have heard from him and I have just seen the outgoing, the former treasurer of Chess Kenya, Gilbert Wandera has just cast his vote and he's giving up the thumbs up sign. I don't know if the sign of victory will be joining us shortly. Bana Wandera, congratulations for having made that vote. I'm sure you voted for Tim Wangala. Uh, definitely. Uh, so, work must continue. <laughs> <laughs> work must continue. Do you yes. see yourselves going on with the work or do you see the other team coming in? Or what has been your feeling about all this? Well, I think uh, the boot of the ground is uh, they're very happy with our work. So we are confident that they'll give us another term uh, to be able to continue with the good work. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Gilbert. And there are casting of vote is the Madam President herself, Judith Kiragu Mashe, who is running on that ticket of uh, Madam J. She's uh, vying for the presidency of Chess Kenya. And there she is just casting a vote and she looks satisfied and happy. We'll see if we can find her to join us for a few minutes. Madam Judy, graciously, you show us the questions about the election. How has it been for you during this volunteer uh, electioneering period? It's been interesting. And, um, well, what I'd like to say is that I know that chess players are very peaceful. However, I do have a, a feel that uh, the Constitution was... There are a lot of issues with the Constitution. So, but the 
voting. I'm okay with the voting. It's been done in a very transparent manner. I'm happy with the board. And uh, I wish all the best, Judy. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I know you must be very tired and just relieved to see your vote, your vote Actually, count. Yes, I am very relieved to have made that vote. Because <laughs> you know what? It's yeah. very important to go all the way. Yes, Not, yes. Uh, uh, cut, your, cut, cut your race mm -hmm. in, in between. Correct. Thank you. Congratulations, Judy, Thank once you. again for the work that do it in. Judy has been very instrumental in organizing top-notch events in the country, across the country, even in Uganda. She has been organizing events. She's the chairman of uh, Lighthouse Chess Club in Mombasa, alongside the patron, Dr. Mwashe. And they have been doing great work. Here we are joined by the outgoing treasurer, not deputy treasurer, uh, Terence Chazim. How has it been for you, Terence? Ah, it's been an exhilarating experience. This is the first time we've had such a big turnout. It means the people in the chess have started believing in us. Mm -hmm. Because the chess society has really grown. Mm -hmm. It's the most peaceful elections I've seen. So I've been, I've, we've survived so many. Mm -hmm. um, people fighting in boardrooms mm -hmm. in um, Nyao Stadium all the time. But now this one is so cool. I'm seeing Dakaria is uh, just smiling by himself behind the mask. Yeah? I'm sure if it was a candidate, you felt safe. No, I'm very safe. Here, yeah, <laughs> we're good. Look at the hall. It's, in, it's very welcoming. I think other federations should copy chess and do elections in the same way. But yeah. the outgoing office, you have been very instrumental in taking the chess family to very exclusive places in terms of tournaments. And even now, look at these voters after casting their vote, they're having a chat. Even if you voted for opposite comes, they're having a cup of tea. What has been the secret behind is being the deputy treasurer? Um, it's just working hand in hand with the team. Eh? Uh, and then uh, we have a very able president who asks us and, on the roles that we are going to play. And uh, since he gives us a free reign to do as we do, we do the best that we can so as to achieve success in all our endeavors. Thank you very much, Terence. We wish you all the best and we want to see what will happen. Thank you. Another voter just cast in his vote is a veteran chess player, Apollo Ketch. He's been on the chess scene for quite a long time. And he's uh, making sure that his ballot has been cast and he's very excited. Let's see if we can hear from him, given the many elections he has seen. He has never missed, I don't think I've ever seen or catch, the ones I've attended miss any AGM or SGM or any election. This is real commitment to the course of chess in the country. Okay. Yep. How has it been casting that vote? It's been, it's been quite tense. Tense mm -hmm. in the sense that you're not sure who to vote for? Tense in what? Uh, tense in the... In the sense that you are not sure whether your team will win. Uh, okay, but you know you voted for. You are very sure about your team. Yeah, I have to vote for my favorite candidate, of course. All right, okay, okay, go on and wind with a cup of tea and release the, relieve the tension. Right. And we look forward to seeing you celebrate when your team has won. We have just, just also seen the international arbiter, James Kingaru, who has just cast his vote, recently came from officiating at the World Rapid and Blitz Championship. And is he uh, just having cast his votes on the ticket of Team Judy? James, congratulations. Thank you. I was you. talking to you backstage and your chances are very, uh, you're optimistic. How has it been for you? Um, I think uh, everything so far is good. Mm -hmm. um, we are happy of the decorum and uh, how it's been done. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope uh, the whole process will continue the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, definitely, I believe everyone has the best interest for chess and uh, mm -hmm. At this point, uh, just in Kenya. So we look forward to have a, a greater Kenya. Thank you, James, very much. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. There is John Mukabi, the beast. They are the former Secretary General of Chess Kenya. Mukabi, yes. having cast that vote, I'm sure you voted for Tim Wanjala. Yes. How do you see the organization of the whole event, the team that was uh, mandated with this was great. Do you believe they have done a good job? Very, and very how do you rate your chances of coming triumphant in this election? Uh, I think they've done a fantastic, very professionally done. Both sides are happy, as you can see. Uh, I can feel it in the air that we carry in the day. I can feel it in the air. You can feel it in the air. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wish you all the best, Mukabi, even as you feel it in the air. Uh, people, they are just about to finish voting. I can... See Bonventure Lusa from formerly from Eastlands Chess Club is now casting his vote. I think he has just arrived in the city right now and is very committed to the cause of chess. He has been very vocal about making sure that things in chess run properly, trying to put the administration in check. 
all because they love the game. Now, finally, ladies and gentlemen, Victor, Dr. Victor Ngani goes to cast his vote. Victor is a doctor by profession. He sits on the FIDE Ethics Commission. I think uh, medical, medical Commission, right? Sorry, I want to say ethics, but medical commission. And uh, he has been in some... There he is casting his vote and giving a thumbs up sign and saying, Kazi Yendele. Victor, maybe I would like you to ask you to join me briefly. He has been the one setting up the broadcast and the, his commitment to this cause has been very, very, very good. So just before he joins us, Victor, thank you for your time to set up all these live broadcasts. Thank you, Brian. I didn't want to say something while the chair of president is voting. Oh, okay, but, fine. Uh, Out of respect, he didn't want to say anything when the former president is voting. So we'll wait for the president to cast his vote. There is Mr. Bernard Wanjala looking all positive and uh, excited. There he is as he goes to, the, to cast his vote. You can see him smiling. I'll leave Victor to talk to the president after he has finished his voting. Just making sure that he doesn't miss out. There he has voted. And right next to the president is a deputy president, uh, Andrew Willie. Mr. President, if you don't mind, just um, if you could just. Uh, Mr. President, the, the key thing that comes out, out of this event is that uh, Chess Kenya has held the most peaceful election uh, in the country. Uh, just uh, tell us a bit about your experience particularly with regards to arranging this, uh, this, this, this election? Yeah, I think it's part of the reforms that, uh, as I know, as we are talking, um, you recall the last uh, several elections that we have had was very chaotic, and um, now we have just breathed in the, the new constitution, and it has ushered in um, a new way of doing things, uh, in a very professional way, in a very transparent way, so that people are able to exercise their democratic right to choose who takes case Kenya the next level. I'm very proud of it. How has the campaign period been? As I mentioned, uh, this has been one of the most mature campaigns uh, where uh, all the aspirants were selling their manifestos and uh, it was all based on issues. And um, of course, the, the voters were convinced by one or two. So today they are making their decision based on what they have to the aspects. You know, you mentioned that uh, this has been mature. One thing that people haven't noticed is that uh, elections in Africa in general tend to be very acrimonious. But you and your competitor, as much as yes, there'll be a few areas of disagreement, you've uh, essentially been quite respectful of each other. She was here earlier giving a comment. What would you say? about your opponent, Madam Kirago? Um, personally, I'll say, um, I'm saying this in, the, in terms of process. I mean, uh, we have never had a process where we have uh, voters verification, where we have vetting, and we have a list coming out much, much earlier, seven days to election. And of course, uh, the board that have been very meticulous in their process. Uh, that's the part of the reforms that I'm talking about uh, puts the process uh, to a very high priority. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. And then finally, just a word, your last four or five years in, in power, um, what has that been like? And uh, just in case you are to win this election, what do you think the future looks like for Chess Kenya? Yeah, as I said before, um, it wasn't easy to get a federation was uh, the virtue of being bankrupt. And uh, with no structures, uh, I shared the breakdown of what we have been able to achieve in the last four years. And, uh, and the story is out there. People are able to read it. People are able to see it and appreciate that indeed uh, for the last four years it has been exciting. Um, and and uh, you can see even the unity that prevails, even the discussions. Even where we have uh, competition, people are able to have it together discuss, and uh, as if there is nothing. This is, has never been seen in chess before. Indeed, Mr. President, we wish you well. Uh, um, if you win, I know a lot of the people who say that maybe the election is not, I mean, uh, uh, it's, well, we'll see how the outcome is. <laughs> but you. if you win, we'll not have a chance to ch uh, chat with you. Whatever the situation, Mr. President, I think uh, the chess strategy is grateful because you have shown what uh, leadership looks like, and I think chess has prospered under leadership. Uh, we pray that for God's blessing. Um, uh, going forward, Thank you. Thank you. So
So joining us now is uh, LGM, um, Bran Kidula. Uh, Bran Kidula, I mentioned earlier while he was voting, uh, he's been uh, instrumental really in development. He brought the first digital boards in the country with his own money. He set up Tyrion Chess Academy. Uh, I think that became the first FIDE registered uh, chess academy uh, in Kenya and possibly the second in the continent. I'm not sure there's another one before you'll tell us about this. Brian, Karibu Sana. Santa Sana, Dr. How are you? Very fine, thank you. You have been on the scene for a very long time. Your take on this uh, event, this this election exercise. Uh, it's having been where I've been before in elections, I'm surprised that there's this amount of quiet and peace uh, around this. I don't know what your take is. This is uh, really a very great day for and a very great win for chess in Kenya. I remember there's a time I took a break from chess from the year 2000. I came back in 2012. And the in between, I understand elections used to be chaotic. I've seen photographic evidence of people throwing chairs at each other. I even saw you one at the center of it almost being hit. I don't know if you're the protagonist or antagonist. But again, after reading the history that has happened in between, I'm happy that we are at such a point in time whereby opposing camps can sit together, have a cup of coffee together, laugh about everything and just say, let's see how it goes. So that's what I'm happy about, particularly also being part of the whole process that we want to usher in the regime that will take us to the next level. Of course, many things have happened and the first team has done a tremendous piece of work in bringing chess where it is right now. And we want to see that continuing into the future. So I'm hopeful whichever team comes in, we'll be able to build up on the foundation laid by the team of Pandemic. Your role in chess development, just speak about that a little bit here in Chess Academy, oh, yeah. what the future looks like in terms of what you're doing now. And, uh, the, the yeah, we're future. excited at the prospect of Chess and Chess Academy. We have been in existence from July 2014, when we said let's empower these young kids in chess. And basically we have done that. And uh, what came to mind is when I decided to buy equipment because we realized many of our events are not being broadcast to the world. So I had to get a loan from the bank and I didn't know I was going to pay for it because it wasn't income generating in terms of the academy, but just driven by passion. And when we did that, it was an uphill task repaying that loan, but by God's grace, we are able to do that. And not before being taken to CRB, the credit reference bureau for defaulting. But then again, the joy of uh, having done this and just being able to see our games broadcast online brought me into contact with many people like Kasim Pereira or Follow Chase is like my brother, you know, I could call him any time with an awkward event. Those times it was a bit difficult to broadcast an event and now the software has come, it's so easy, just plug and play and everything. Those times you have to get an IT guy to go back and set up some things and I could tell Asim you have to be patient. I remember there was a time one day we were on call with a guy called Ruan from South Africa. I even had a time for another guy in Germany, I forget his name, for close to 45 minutes, just trying to set up everything. So to see where we are right now, many other African countries embracing this, to me, is exciting. I'm just happy. And as Terry and Chess Academy, we thank God for the partnership that we have been able to build up over the years. Now the chickens are coming home to roost. We are looking forward to a great year, this 2022, going forward. And I'm happy for the little part I've been able to play in developing chess in the country. I give God all the glory. Brian, you're not getting away with this. You're one of the most honest people I know, and you're also very open. And it's not easy to hear anybody just mention something with the CRB. And I think it's, it highlights an issue in Kenya, because the kinds of people that the people are, are listing on CRB, people who have integrity, who will definitely keep the word. Um, I think uh, something for us to to look up as a country, uh, uh, there's a great disservice there in general. And that has cost us, you know, that has cost us. I can't access, access credit. Even if you show you're able to pay, but I can't access that before that one instance. And in any case, we cleared the loan. So yeah. I think the system needs to be relooked at. No, certainly. It certainly. needs to be looked Because uh, many times there are great things you want to do, but now my wife, she's is employed and she has a pay slip. She's my bank. So I'll borrow money through her, yeah. then pay. And sometimes I default. But you see, she's my wife. <laughs> we come to an agreement. But then it has been exciting just doing things for chess. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Looking forward to what you're going to do going forward. I think um, uh, chess is better because of you. And the Italian Chess Academy, what you're doing um, the, uh, in the respective places is amazing. And thank you personally for the DGT board that you gave us. Because oh, yeah. of that, my four-year-old girl is now a champion in many areas. Can moment. you believe it? I saw yesterday she won the under eight category. Yes, Tell she did. Yes, she did. Yes, maximum. Did. Yes, she did. I need to see her. Yeah. She, I remember when you came home and she told me, you know, I'm a champion. I looked at this girl and said, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Yeah, yeah. But she believed in herself. And uh, the sister too. I mean, you're doing great work, dog. Keep it up.
Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the voting is done, and uh, we are now waiting for direction from um, the National Election Board. Uh, right now, uh, there is um, a lot that is um, um, being done. I think they, they're verifying that the voters have voted, and if there's anybody who hasn't voted, then this is good. Uh, we are going to um, uh, wait for direction from the team. I think the big part is over. And I can see both presidents, uh, President Judith Kirago and uh, uh, James uh, having a cup of tea, well deserved after many, many months of uh, campaign. And you can see um, uh, the immediate uh, former president, uh, Bernard Wanjala, also uh, just waiting anxiously. But as you can see, they're very close to each other and in close proximity. This is how elections should be held in Kenya. And perhaps every single member of the NEB chess uh, Kenya Federation should transition to the IEBC to ensure that Kenya has peaceful elections going forward. Um, to the best of our knowledge, there's been no contest in terms of membership lists. This was published about um, almost more than two weeks ago, and any issues that arose, they were addressed conclusively. And uh, there's been, as a result of this, the election day has been very, very smooth. Again, uh, both parties, as much as this disagreements, it's very clear that there is some level of respect for the process. Whereas the agenda will change and be different, it's very clear that um, this election is a model election that should be copied not just by federations in Kenya, but by elective bodies in this country and to individual positions. But all the candidates come together and determine their team composition, and uh, then the ticket is voted for as a whole. The reason behind this is that Chess Kenya then is able to ensure that they meet the one third gender rule and also a second requirement which requires that there is regional balance within the tickets. And therefore, um, you will find that both parties have ensured that there is um, adequate gender representation and adequate regional balance within the two tickets. Team Wanjala, uh, President is Bernard Wanjala, Vice President Andrew Owili, Treasurer Gilbert Wandera, Secretary General John Mukabi for Deputy Treasurer, Terence Chazima for Gender and Special Interests Roda Itole, for Deputy Secretary General Aurelia Chumo, who is also part, um, um, well, and also National uh, Branch Secretary Ivini Magwega. For Team Judy, I think I want to believe that Madam Judy is the first lady to vie for presidency of Chess Kenya Federation. It's, uh, we haven't been able to assess whether there have been other candidates for other sports, um, but Judy Kiragu for sure. Uh, who is uh, the CEO of Lighthouse Chess, uh, uh, Chess Club, is the first lady to vie for presidency of Chess Kenya Federation. Uh, she's deputized by James Kangaru, uh, also of Epitome Chess Club, who has won numerous awards across this globe for his chess initiatives. Uh, Madam Phyllis Baire, Secretary General Dismas Okech, Deputy Treasurer Dixon Manyala, Gender and Special Interest Rose Kenya, Deputy Secretary Kelvin Kamau, and National Branch Secretary Judith Higuth. Indeed, Chess is privileged that both tickets are tickets that are highly, highly successful people, highly respectable individuals who in their own rights are able to do a lot. Let's wait and see what the outcome of the vote looks like. Um, the voting is done, and at this juncture, we have uh, the, the observers uh, uh, discussing briefly with the NEB and perhaps maybe Bonadenis can share with us what the delay is so that we know if there's a delay at all. It's just part of due process, Bonadenis. Uh, uh, yes. We are not We are awaiting some follow ups, some process needed to be undertaken right now. I think we'll see the board is consulting with the observer. Then once we are done, we are now going to be directed the next procedure. Is it possible to share what the process is that is now being carried out? And again, uh, yes, please. The team is calling whatever is there so that we can, when we meet, when we invite the stakeholders to give out the results, we'll have, we will have given out what has happened, how many ballot papers we've given out, how many we've given out. That is what the team is done. However, in the process, there were some, there are some ballot papers which were not able to be given. There's somebody who has an issue. So before we start even the name, we start even the counting of what we have to sort out that issue, then we can proceed systematically. Thank you very much. What has been said by interviewee after interviewee is that the NEB has conducted superb elections and there have been calls, Dennis, 
that your entire team <laughs> transitions to the IDC because this is what Kenya needs. Thank you very much, sir. Please keep us updated uh, as things go. Uh, Dennis has been uh, the secretary of the National Elections Board and uh, they've done a fantastic job. Of course, his job has not been easy as with all uh, election uh, officials, but he has been very firm, resilient, and at the end of the day, he's been respected for what they have done. Thank okay. you. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have the pleasure of being joined by the chairperson of uh, the National Elections Board. Uh, this is uh, Victor Hongo himself. And uh, Victor Hongo, first of all, congratulations. So far, so good. These elections, this peaceful, never been seen before in any... We have consulted uh, experts, lawyers, and everyone else. And they have guided us through the process. That's why you're saying that we are having a transparent and peaceful election. Yeah, the biggest thing that has been bedeviled election bodies in the past is bias and um, lack of integrity. What's different in your team that has made this possible? Because um, all through whatever has been said, it's been very hard to hear anybody even allege or impugn uh, some form of um, integrity concerns with regards to your office. Okay, the first thing to clear out any doubt, we had to print out the, the member list, the voters, and we showed them the process we're taking to clear out people. So once they saw that, they saw these guys are doing a good job and they're very transparent. And we have been giving people time to do appeals. And at the same time, we have been giving people notices in time to at least ask questions or to give us any comment. So far, everyone has the, the appealed and they're satisfied. They haven't received any problems. And because of that, I believe uh, the board has done very well. Indeed, you have. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Mr. Chairman. I think your board should go down in history. You should make big placards and post uh, plaques and posts across this city mm -hmm. and across this continent to see how elections should be held. Of course, um, what do you have to say about the two, two teams? Because it's not just the NEB that has made this possible, but also the two camps in terms of the conduct. They've, they've contacted themselves well, at least when they're campaigning, it was issue based, and uh, everyone was correcting each other giving out the all their best. I, I think they did well. They did well because uh, there was no about calling, name calling or what. They just mentioned their, what the agenda is, the manifesto is, and everyone saw what they had to offer. I believe today they came to decide who was the best to offer. All right. Thank you very much. I know we'll still be catching up with you. Yes. And congratulations once again. Okay, thank you. Um, I know I have to call you Michuki, that one right? What is the reason? What, what's going on? Okay. Uh, you're talking about uh, the delay? No, not oh. the delay, just that you've seen it twice. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, to make uh, things uh, clear, uh, this is Christian, uh, twin brother to Francis. Uh, we're also the directors of the Knights Chess Academy. Uh, I think the confusion comes in uh, when Dr. Victor is always seeing uh, uh, me twice, but <laughs> it's not the case. Uh, uh, we, we, we are two. Uh, I've clarified that in front of the national TV, television. Okay. <laughs> uh, but Chuki, uh, you have been part of the elections team. Yes, yes. How has that been? And first of all, congratulations for what you have organized, an extremely peaceful election, which is not uh, typical. Uh, for many, you know, um, areas in Africa? Uh, the experience has been good. Uh, we were success. The whole team has been cooperating. And uh, we've been even sacrificing some of our time to get this and ensure that this will uh, be a very uh, smooth process. And it will uh, also go down in history as the first uh, election process uh, uh, having the National Elections Board. We are, of course, are very happy to be the first team to undertake these elections. And uh, we pray uh, with the new team that will come in to, today uh, that we shall continue working together and seeing uh, greater results in the, in the field of chess. You're the third person you're interviewing from this team, and none of you has uh, actually noted that the standard difference between your team and other teams is integrity. Uh, what does this mean? Is it that it's taken for granted that this is now really what is there, which is a great thing? Or is it that, um, you know, why is it that... This, you talk about meetings, late night, that commitment, that diligence, but in fact, the key issue here has to be integrity, no? Uh, I think uh, because uh, all the members of the board were, uh, were elected diversely, 
we have everyone included. Of course, we have uh, uh, success behind the team. So uh, that has contributed a lot to the integrity. And uh, of course, uh, being uh, non-partisan to either of the teams. All right. Christian, how do I tell you from uh, Francis? Last question. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, with time, uh, once you're able to see us more, then uh, you definitely tell the difference. Could you put on blue specs? <laughs> <laughs> Interviewing the people here. Now we think you're ready to go. People are being called back into the voting area. And they are just trickling in as they come take their seats. And we'll be getting to know the next course of action. The ballot papers are still right there where they are family garden. Nobody is approaching them. Here we have one of Kenya's top players. Mr. Magana, please. Come here. Gently. This is uh, Ben Magana. Mr. Magana, how are you? How have you been? I'm fine, and you? Congratulations, first of all. I'm fine too. Thank you for making the national team. You are the top qualifier. Yeah. Now, coming to the election, you have been there. You have seen many elections in the past. Yeah. Where does this rank among the best? Um, Organization wise, uh, it's very good. I think the, both the protagonists are very civilized. They've gone about it in a civilized way. Mudslinging has been there, but to a lesser extent. And, uh, we're just uh, hoping and praying for the best results. You came all the way from Kisumu to Nairobi. How many kilometers is that? 400, 400 and something? 400, 400. 400 kilometers. Yeah, and just, immediately after I'm going back. Just for this process. Yes. What motivated you to come? Um, commitment to chess. We want uh, leadership. So... We have to make sacrifices. I've made so many sacrifices. I'll continue making them. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Magana. I wish you all the best. I hope your candidate wins. Yes. Thank you very much. Here they are coming in. That was candidate master Ben Magana. The history of chess Kenya cannot be complete without mentioning Big Ben. Now you can see the members just setting their, taking their seats. And we want to see how it goes. All right, as they settle down, there's a lady who has done a lot for chess in Kenya. I want her to join us. But she's saying, no, 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 Evelyn, Shuru. Are the people settling down? We just want to see how this will go. It has been a great afternoon. As you have heard from most of the speakers here, it has been a nice process, well run, well coordinated. The teamwork has been amazing. No major complaints, the usual hiccup that happened in an election. But uh, that's said and done. Everything has gone on so peacefully. There has not been any acrimony. Everything has just transitioned well, and now everybody is just laughing. They have shared a cup of tea and mandazi, and we just want to see now who is going to be declared the winner. The votes have not been counted as yet. I think they want to make it so overt and open. And I can see Dr. Ngani is arriving here with the Mama Chess, Roda, Etole, Elisa. Olisa. Olisa, Roda, you, you, you look a bit. How was the process, the campaign period, and now coming down? I don't think we've had any issues. I don't think there's been any cheating. It has been a very transparent process. And I really want to thank our National Elections Board. They've really done a super, super job. I know you are going Secretary, Deputy Secretary General, right? Yep. Now you are going to another position. What is that position and what is it meant for in Chess uh, Kenya? I'm going for the gender and special uh, needs position. Gender and PWDs will be doing. And every issue that uh, they'll be going to charge of my position. Thank you very much for the process. I can hear we are being called for order. So we'll leave it to the chair of the board to carry it on. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Um, before we start, I've asked the two leaders of the ticket if it's okay to close the voting process and they have agreed. I have one question for them. Are you okay with the transparency of this process? Kindly give a uh, mic to one of them, maybe to confirm if they, if they accept the transparency of the process. So maybe we can begin with Bernard and then you give it to Judy. 
Okay, thank you. There, the outgoing president says the National Election Board has exceeded his expectations. We'll wait to hear from Madam Judy Kirago, the other aspirants, to get to know our field because at the end of the day, we want every candidate and okay. the team to be satisfied that the process. The due process of law was carried out without any discrimination, without intimidation, without fear or favor. And there she's been asked the question, are you satisfied with the whole process? And there she goes to the answer. She agrees the process was okay. But then she says the road leading to this process was flawed. I don't know what that means. Um, that one maybe I can answer a little bit about it. The process, we, we gave notices, we gave out a list for transparency. We told you how we worked out uh, the active members, so I think that was clear, and at the, at the same time we gave out appeals. If you had a problem, you had to write an appeal within seven days, and we responded to everyone. So, I don't think there was any problem in that process. If there was, someone should have sent an appeal. Um, we're about to start. I will need two pre uh, one preceding officer here and two agents who are going to who are going to start the counting process they're going to bring the ballot here so agent for team judy to come here and agent for team bernard to come here i believe also the observer will be around Yeah, just, just so, the presiding officer who's going to do this is uh, Dennis. So, Dennis, bring the ballot box in the middle. <clears throat> um, I hope I'm clear. Everyone. Can you hear my voice? Okay, good. So, Dennis will bring the ballot box. The agents will uh, confirm what is happening. What they are going to do is to separate the two tickets. Afterwards, we're going to count. Uh, to my left is the agent of uh, Team Judy, to my right is the agent to Team Bernard. Just to ascertain the process was fair enough. Just to ascertain the process was fair enough, I would like them to. I'd like Mr. John to have a great person on one side. Or you can go to the opposite side and then you can do the other side. Jala, this is just to show how transparent the process has been. Before now, we go to the vote counting process. The agent for Tim Judy is also going to take his place and is there. He is, you can see he's breaking the seal to the ballot box, stashed with the voters' choices. And that's what you're going to be witnessing in a short while. That has been very well done. And both counts are happy that this is a transparent process. No rigging. And there, the agent of Tim Judy opens the ballot box. And now we are ready to commence the excess of counting. The observer from the Kenya Table Tennis Federation, the president of Chess of uh, Kenya Table Tennis Federation, also the vice president of the African 
chess, uh, African table tennis, sorry, I'm just with the chess. And also a member of the International Chess Federation, Andrew Mudibo, a wild leader who has done great works in terms of uh, elevating the game of table tennis to the high level it is right now. Standard. So there he is trying to ask the secretary to explain to the people what uh, is supposed to happen and what's going to happen okay. next. So the two patients have confirmed that uh, by opening the series and also by opening the book, we have developed book in the trees behind. And we're going to proceed to the next step. I will be doing this, I'll be confirming with each and every one of the paper that is here. They are going to confirm, and then I'm going to separate them. So whatever I'm going to do here is just separate in the two. Just separate uh, team two. We're going to come to the agent of team two. And I'm going to separate to I'm going to give the rest to Mr. Wan and you who is the agent of Mr. Wan. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, now the vote counting process has begun. And they have asking the agents to verify before they separate the votes, which is going to Timonjala and which is going to Nanjuri. There we have the first vote going to Timonjala and it's been shown to all and sundry so that nobody can say it was rigging. The agent for both camps are confirming and it's been shown to the people that it was correctly balloted. It's going to take a while, but we are patient. All we need to do is transparency. All right, the members are saying for purpose of time, they don't have to show us because we can't see. So once both agents have confirmed, then they can just put it where it's supposed to be, which is very correct. They just say the name of the vote, and this is white in order. Then I do a Ben at one jala 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 Uh, Judith Kirago.
Dena Tuanjala. Dena Tuanjala. Dena Tuanjala. Dena Tuanjala. Judith Kirago. Judith Kirago. Ben Andrewandala. Ben Andrewandala. Bena Duanjala. Judith Kilago. Bena Duanjala. Bena Duanjala. Bena Duanjala Bena Duanjala Bena Duanjala Bena Duanjala. Bena Duanjala. Bena Duanjala. This is a spoiled boat. Then I do Java. Bena Duanjala. <coughs> Bena Duanjala. Bena Duanjala. Then I do a jala. Then I do a jala. Then I do a jala. Spoiled food.
Ben Alcantara. Judith Kirago. Ben Alcantara. Pena Duanjala. 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 Judith Kirago. Bena uh, Duanjala. Bena Duanjala. Duanjala. Wanjala. 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 Spoiled boat. Wanjala. 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 Judith Kirago. Wanjala. Bernard Wanjala.
Ven a tu entrada. Yo te he quedado. Ven a tu entrada. 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 Judith Kirago. Ven a tu entrada. 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 Judith Kirago. Ven a tu entrada. Ven a tu entrada. Judith Kirago. Ven a tu entrada. 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 Ven a tu entrada.
There you have it. The um, voice counting process is complete. So we are going to go into the counting process. After which I will call upon the chairperson of the board to come and declare the So we are going to start from where we go this time. The votes have been verified. Who voted where? Now they want to count to know what number they garnered. But uh, we have some spoiled votes in the process. But from the look of things, according to the announcements you are hearing from the secretary, it seems Wanjala has taken this as the landslide, but we wait to get the confirmation. The counting process now is on. They have started with the votes garnered by Judy so that we get it declared for us. But this has been a very peaceful process tedious in terms of organizing and everything, but the stakeholders have been very patient and we are happy to see this come into an end. We leave for another day tomorrow. Work begins tonight. I think they'll be in a celebratory mode or mood rather, but tomorrow work must continue. As we had earlier on in Kiswahili, we say Kazi Iendele, Yani work must go on. So there's the counting going on and the tallying of the votes cast. Uh, there were some spoiled votes. We shall get to know about that too. It will be declared by the chair of the National Election Board. The observer is quite interested in seeing what is happening. You can see him offering some words of counsel. And everybody is just in a quiet mood, happy mood, relaxed mood. You see the different emotions of the Aspirants, as the numbers were being called, I can tell what was going through their minds. At this point, I can see this mass is sort of moving closer to his president, the same ticket, Judy Kiragu. He was he's vying for the post of Secretary General under the ticket of Judy. And as they now we are they are counting the votes cast for Mr. Bernard Wangela, the outgoing president. Right now there is a temporary vacuum in Chess Kenya until this process is over. So we will be waiting and I'm sure the camp that will take the day will know that now is service to the people with all the election pledges, election promises, when campaign, when the campaign train, what they said they'll do for the people now will be put to the test. And the Kenya nowadays are a very informed electorate, they demanding, asking of questions, wanting to know why this pledge has all been fulfilled, rather, why you promised us this and you haven't done us yet. So we are in for interesting times. Four years there'll be in office and thereafter we'll have another cycle of election. But any special general meeting that will pass a vote of no confidence, in the office, they'll be serving for the next four years immediately after the presiding officer, who is the chair of the election board and the observer, once they declare the winner of these elections. As we heard from both camps, it has been a good campaigning session period where they try to woo the voters with what they had in store for them. And now it's time to see who did the most in terms of convincing the electorate or the voters rather with them in office. This not to take away anything from all the participants, all the aspirants, because this is a voluntary task. Nobody is paid for this. It's just a matter of service to community, giving your time, most of the time again, giving your resources. As you try to make chess be a beacon of hope for many people who are participating in it, so it's a voluntary position, and this is what makes people come out, the spirit of just wanting to be of service, to give back to chess, is what actually makes it more fulfilling to serve as a federation official. Though it comes with all its uh, disadvantages, it's a thankless job. Many people will vilify you at times for one wrong, not thinking about the good that you have done over the period of time. But again, you have to have a resilient spirit, resilient heart. You have to understand this is calling and you just move on to the next level.
taking into account what you have been told if it's positive and welcoming constructive criticism, at the same time being able to bite the bullet. And we are glad that the candidates who expressed their interest to serve in the national office are people who have been tried and tested. Some are coming in for the first time, but they were ready to serve because many are called, but a few are chosen. So we just wait to see how this will pan out. I think they are now just uh, putting down the numbers. And within a very short time, we shall be hearing who the winner of the Chess Kenya election is going to be. Again, people have been very patient. We started coming here from around 11 a.m. in the morning. It's now going towards 5.30 in the evening, 17.30 hours. That's a lot of patience, a lot of... Uh, uh, maturity exhibited by the stakeholders. I don't see many who have walked away, very few if any, most of them have stayed put. Maybe being a defining moment in the history of chess, wanting to see that uh, the person you voted for, that uh, they are in office and you are happy going on, satisfied and holding them to account because of anything that they do. I think they're just very fine and confirming that the figures put down are correct. And we will soon be hearing who the winner and the ticket they are vying for is for these elections that have been peacefully conducted and a lot of maturity displayed both by the candidates in spite of them hard political times. Sometimes they've been much leaning, but then that is expected of any election. And the beauty of it all, they'll come together. If you had an interest, the interest of chess, they'll come together, support in whichever ways you can, do what you can, make your contribution on, just to elevate the game of chess to the levels that we want to see grow in Africa. This is it. Most of this year, we'll be having the World Chess Federation, International Chess Federation elections, FIDE elections, during the FIDE Congress, during, uh, being held uh, during the Olympia time. And we know the heart of serving. Also, for the African Chess Federation, we'll also be having elections running. And we look forward to those times to come and just see who are going to be on the ballot as they want to make their efforts recognized in terms of serving the chess for more successful events being brought to you live. There you can see the chairman of the National Election Board holding the microphone, just verifying with the Secretary General and very soon we shall be getting the announcement of who and which team has carried the day. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for staying with us. It's been a long process, but here we are coming to the end of it. As the chairman comes to declare the winner, we shall be waiting. Hello, everyone. Okay, the moment. Okay, I'm about to announce the results. I hope you can hear me. Can you? Am I loud enough now? Okay. Uh, with the, a few statistics. So we issued 125 ballots. Uh, 25 were not issued. Out of 25, 20, 23 did not turn up. Two did not have identification. So after the counting process, the presiding officer uh, gave the results as this. Spoil vault three. This spoil vault in Mandela, 109 votes. And the excitement in the room is palpable as the Good. voters Good. appreciate. Both agents have verified and Mandela is all smiles. Um, both, both agents were satisfied with the process. They agreed with it. 
And uh, therefore, therefore, I declare the Ponjala the new team for Chess Kenya. The declaration has made the new team for Chess Kenya, ladies and gentlemen, Team Wanjala. maturity and I also congratulate everyone who is here who has voted. You have exercised your civic right and that's a good thing and I think you are all happy with what you have done. Isn't it? Also clap for yourselves. Uh, maybe I would like maybe the observer uh, say some few things and then Later, I will allow the new team to say a few words. Also, I'll allow Judy to come and say a few things. Okay. There is the election observer, Mr. Andrew Mudibo from the Kenya Tabo Tennis yeah, Federation. Good evening, everyone. Mine is just to greet you, uh, brother. I've seen the process how it has been. So, thank you all of you for the whole election. Thank you. And three points. Before I invite this uh, ballot paper, I'm going to put them in the envelope, put it back on the ballot box and seal them. If there's any dispute, we have it there, yeah, sealed and put in a secure place. Now, um, briefly, I think I'll start with the uh, ready address the voters. She has put up a gallant fight with the lady in appearance to make uh, it and that she is joined by this man, the Secretary General. Good evening. Um, I just want to thank you all. I just want to thank you all. Um, I, a lot has been said. The way we conducted ourselves, I think uh, it is important for the good of uh, chess that uh, we display one of the disciplines for which we stand for, and that was a great show of uh, control and, uh, and maturity that we all uh, displayed. In as much as we were aware of the irregu irregularities that were involved in the run up to this process, um, I really feel that at this point, I, I am not going to contest the results, but I wish the new team, I'm not finished. I wish the new team all the best. Thank you very much. Gracious in defeat, she wishes the new team all the best. She's not going to contest the result in spite of what she cites out as a bloody team. Thanks all of them here. The new team is being invited. Yes. I can see the Secretary General, the Treasurer Gilbert Wandera with a swagger. Vice President Andrew Willy is right there. Chairman Greening from year to year. Jose Tole and the team, Aurelia Chumo, John Mukabi, Terence Chazima. They are all coming here. This is the team that is going to be running chess for the next four years. What a fight has been, what a show of maturity, as Judy said. All but everybody put the best foot forward. And she graciously wishes the team all the best. And she's going to put a weight behind them as she supports them. All for the love of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Chess Kenya office. And we are going to hear from them in a short while. I used to congratulate the new team. Well done. So I'll uh, give your team leader to speak. As we wait for the certificates, I think they'll be here in time. So, Dana Panjala, congratulations. You can have the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Oh, yeah. 
and um, say this evening I'm greatly humbled by another trust that you have given us to steer Chess Kenya for the next four years. It has been tough in our competition. Sometimes it I want to also congratulate my worthy opponent, Judy Kiraku. Uh, uh, this was a competition, and uh, I must agree that uh, you also played a very mature position. I want to congratulate you with your team. Uh, we will be here for four years, God willing, and the next time we will have another team. I hope you will not give up. Continue supporting Chess. As a team, a winning team, election is over. We have to go back and fuel Chess Kenya. We may not be perfect, but I promise you, we will try. We may not be perfect. We may not do things the way you expect, but we will try to meet your expectation. On behalf of this team, I want to promise you that uh, from today, the trust that you have given to us, we will reciprocate to ensure that everyone will be proud of this team the next four years. When you are given an opportunity uh, of this kind, there is a lot of stakes that are involved. We are aware of uh, many of us who support chess full time. Uh, we know chess is a livelihood to many of us. And uh, when we are given this kind of responsibility, do it with the diligence that is expected. And we promise that we will not disappoint. On behalf of the team here, which we have actually worked with, um, I promise you they will be able to deliver. Uh, most of the team is actually the, uh, the team that has been there. But just to ensure that we have inclusivity, and just allow me to, to introduce the new one who we incorporated. She has been a, a very strong player. You have made in the tournament. And just to ensure that the BWD team, uh, people living with disability, is a very passionate segment of mine. And when we started it in 2018, we felt that uh, we should have a voice to ensure that it's inclusive. Right now, the world is moving to a world where they have to accommodate everyone. And uh, we felt that she had to be with us and guide us where we have a challenge, perhaps where we are not doing very well. Some of the things we may assume to ensure that she is able to guide us. And being a lady also, to champion the uh, I don't have much words. I accept this responsibility in a humble way and a lot of people. Thank you. Now you for becoming president of Chess Kenya, Mr. Bayan Wanjala. Um, Serving is four years again. We'll call you later to receive the certificates. We'll be called later to receive the certificates, and that is it, the new Chess Kenya office. Uh, at the moment, I want the urgent observer to come and sign the, the envelope before we seal them. So, the agents have been called to sign the the envelopes of the ballot papers so that they can seal them for posterity. Well, we come into a close to this live broadcast. It's been good being here with you guys. And we look forward to a vibrant chess year for the next four years. Moving forward, making big strides in chess. The agents are being called. I don't know whether Orangio is right here. He's going to sign. The agent for Team Dust, agent for Team Wanjala. The agent for Team Judy. I don't know where he's going to, but he's being called to come and sign before they sell the envelopes. 
This is, has been very well run, very uh, Many are satisfied, many have stayed on. In the past, I've seen people walking away just shortly after voting, but now everybody is sitting here. Maybe the air is palpable with anticipation and anxiety to know when does work really start or when does work really continue. Exemplary in service and delivery, and we hope that this will be carried on until they finish their term and hand over to the next team to do the last bit of what they need to do. There we have Andiwo signing the papers. The agent for Team Judy is just coming in now. He's going to sign it as a sign, good sign of everything has gone on well. No disputes, nothing being taken forward. Chase only. The agenda for chess being taken forward. Well, we are waiting for the conclusion job. I think this is it. You can see the people are still settled. They are not in any hurry. Perhaps a sign of being satisfied with everything. Bona, Wakili, maybe I want to hear a few words from you. Just here we have Wakili Karoli. Just move. Karoli Luanga, how are you, sir? I'm very fine. How are you, Jim? Not bad. I'm fine. Thank you. Well done for being here. What is your take about this election? How have you seen it going on? You are very instrumental in crafting the constitution that brought us to this time. What is your take? Uh, first of all, I'm very happy with the way the election board has conducted the elections. I'm also very happy with the way the contestants have behaved. They've shown a lot of maturity. And uh, if you compare this uh, election uh, with previous event, I can say that uh, probably this is the first time we're having elections. <laughs> and uh, I'm very happy about it. Yes, in the past I know there's been name calling, fist fights, maybe policemen being called in. Did you feel secure being here today? Yes, yes. I, from the moment I walked in, I was uh, confident that everything would go free, would, would go well, and I'm happy that uh, it went well. I think uh, every the whole world can see that uh, how we are progressing as a as a as a, as a association. Thank you very much, Bwana Wakili Karoli. Thank you. As you have seen, the certificates are ready. They are about to be awarded. Let me just show one. Ah, doc. Doc, a minute. There is a certificate awarded to Roda Etole. The Elections Board do hereby satisfy having partnered, garnered the highest number of votes. Sorry, you have been validly elected for the Union of Gender and Special Interest Secretary in 2020 Chess Kenya National Elections held on 13th day of February 2020, signed by the Board Chair, National Election Hello. Board Chair, Dr. Ah, Victor Hongo. Sorry.
this is splendid. This is the first time we are seeing such being displayed. Victor, what, what is your take about this? Uh, Brian, this is amazing. The level of professionalism is unparalleled. And uh, even the thought that has gone through this is amazing. I know that someone would ask, how is it that the certificates were printed prior? What the NEB did is they had certificates for both parties, depending on who would win. Uh, then they just place it into the frame. But just the thought process, the professionalism, the way it's been done is absolutely amazing and kudos to the team, Brian. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. The surface certificate has been awarded. First one. Going to the treasurer. Can watch from that side. I would like to call Babu, the legal chairman, uh, to award the Babu, they are the captain of KCB Chess Club, awarding Madame Roda. Etole, who was just who was just coming as the gender personnel in Chess Kenya. I would like to invite Andrew Mumia from Mombasa Chess Club. Andrew Mumia, all the way from Mombasa, being invited to present it to the treasurer. Gilbert, oh, sorry, what? National Branch Secretary. There she is being awarded a certificate. As Dr. Gani said, this is a, it's a, a precedented and exemplary. Uh, this is a show of commitment to duty. When duty calls, you have to respond to the high calling with excellence. The National Election Board has indeed autographed their work with excellence. And we pray that in future, we shall have more of this. Everybody seems to be happy and satisfied. Nobody seems to be complaining because this is it. I can see the chairman, Mr. Anjala, is on phone. I think maybe receiving congratulatory messages from all over. World Amateur Champion under 1700 category, but Delta Glenda, she's been called upon to. She's coming. She, she's coming. She's coming to give the certificate to Gilbert Wandera, the treasurer of Chess Kenya, for the next four years. Is absolutely besides himself with excitement, so we, we understand he's going to do a good job for Chess Kenya. As Badelta Glenda presents him with his certificate. There he is, lifting up his trophy. It has been a grueling campaign season, sleepless nights, trying to ensure that you. Galvanize as many votes as possible. All right, to come and award the certificates to Aurelia Chumo, the deputy secretary general. It's on. Nicole Ogaga now being called upon to award to Aurelia Chumo, who is coming in as the deputy secretary general, Cheskeja for the next four years. Those mice, they have met across the board many times. The next person I would like to call to award this certificate is uh, Saddam Ali. Saddam Ali being called upon to award the Mr. next certificate, Mr. former Mr. national Mr. champion Mr. for the PWDs, people with disabilities. 
There he comes to award it to John Mukabi the Beast, Mukuna. There he takes his position there, Saddam Ali. Saddam is a very enterprising young man, very full of energy. There he is presenting to John Mukabi his certificate on being elected, duly elected, as the chess Kenya treasurer for the next four years. Well done. The handshake is not ending, and so will the celebrations later on in the night, I believe so. They are, I've been told by one of the stakeholders, Ochi Tanda Ochi Live Jojo Cheng of Nairobi Chess Academy and Club, national team coach, that Bukabi is the best Secretary General in Africa. Next up is Andrew Owili, the Vice President of Chess Kenya. He's been escorted there. And I think he's happy because Jess Jarwai is going to present to him the trophy. Jess Jarwai is a former 2018 national champion. She has fought many battles, a member of the national team. She just won the qualifiers recently, and there she is coming to present to Andrew Oweli, who is all smiles, the certificate. 2018 was Bola Jumba being reminded. 2019 was Lucy, Lucy Wanjiru. So 2017 then, maybe, when Joyce was there. Yes, true. So Joyce Nerwai removes top performer. She's been playing the open section without any fear. And there she awards Andrew. I want to call the current national chess champion, Martin Joroge. Now, Martin Joroge, the national champion, comes to present it to the president of Chess Kenya, Mr. Wajala. Interesting that Wajala is for Equity Bank and Martin Joroge for KCB, major bank rivals. But here, a sign of uh, sportsmanship. Martin Joroge awarding the certificate to the president. It's uh, important to know that it was the president who awarded him the car keys in November, December 2021, 30th December actually, after Martin Joroge won the national championship. It was the chairman who handed him over the keys to Amazda Demio. Now it's Rose Rivers. The cameramen are taking some time to ensure that the add-ons on the certificate are removed, maybe to signify the importance of this occasion. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, Martin Jorogia presented the president of Chess Kenya his certificate. His hand clap and donation from the stakeholders, and they appreciate the chairman who has worked tirelessly to bring chess to a greater heights. And we know with this team of committed, it's okay, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much. So there is showing us the certificate and being excited. Doing. And here is the election board receiving a resounding round of applause for the tremendous work this team has done to ensure that we have peaceful elections conducted in the highest level of professionalism that have actually even made the chess to believe again but the future of chess is continuing to be bright and we look forward to walking that exciting journey. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman you, of the election board. Just ask one person to give us. If any photo session is going to be prepared, I don't know if anyone has to say anything. Okay, I also want to thank uh, Mr. Nani, Frey, and then the two of us. Anyone? Call Ricky. Call Ricky. Ricky, would you like to give one of thanks? Someone proposed you, and I think uh, that's a good thing.
Good evening, everyone. Uh, first, I would like to thank everyone who has attended this session today. Uh, from the process, you can see it was meticulous and planned, and I think it went quite smoothly. Congratulations to the winning team and also for the opposing team. Uh, thanks for taking that time. Thank you very much. That was Victor, uh, Jiki-san. I'm going to allow the new team to go to the two companies. I think I'm going to have a lot of them. I'm going to have a lot of them. Thank you. Thank you. No, the chairman did. So the chairman. So I'll invite the chairman. Give both of us. Congratulations for it. Uh, one was doing translation. Can you stand up and uh, everyone see you? Okay. Okay, congratulations to the translation team. You have done a good job. So I think I'll allow Bernard to come. So as he comes, just clap. I'll hand over the floor to him. Thank you. Thank you, the chairman of the National Election Board is done with this task. And now the chairman of Chess Kenya comes to address us. Uh, I think I spoke before. Uh, I want to take the time to tell each and every one. I think it's going to be the most. Um, for those who may not know, uh, this is an AGM, SGM that have had the highest number of members up here. GPK Makofi. <laughs> this shows the level of concerns that you have to ensure that the federation is run in the proper way. Um, I also want to recognize the ones that have been done by the board, it has been a T class and high class. Um, as someone said, if all goes well, they would have been allowed to transit from the Kenya election <laughs> to go and run the national election because they have demonstrated they have the capacity. Uh, as you are aware, uh, I'm married. Chase is the uh, first wife, then I have the second one. <laughs> yeah, the chairman saying Chase is the first wife, and then <laughs> his wife is the other one. The reason I'm saying so because it's good because she well understands like and they know so, each other well. So thank you very much, Madam, for being behind Mr. Wangala in all things. Aha, there yeah, it is. Congratulations from the wife. Thank you very much. For me to perform the functions of this place, I have to be supported by one person. I have three boys and one girl. I'm sure you have seen Africa. So whenever I'm here busy, she takes care of uh, the family. I have a lot of respect and love for her. Uh, I don't think I have much to say uh, other than to thank you for the honor that you have given us. It's going to be tough, but we'll ensure that we deliver the trust that you have given to us. Allow me to declare this meeting closed. Yeah, allow me to, uh, I'm sure you have seen the team, allow me to declare this meeting closed. As you travel back, uh, go and say hi to the family and to chess players who will be here. Um, uh, Mr. Dennis, our sister treasurer can close for us now. Thank you. Thank you. Chess players, chess players, we came and saw me 
Just it means all that so much. We are together. This Judy and his team and her team, they did their best they could, but unfortunately, no one can only be a host and another can be a donkey. So, in fact, everybody, I think you're weak or loose. Sorry, you misunderstand me. One can be a very fast car, one can be a slow car. So, it's not a very intensive way that. Right? So, I thank you all for taking time to come here to the for the Mata, for the Kuru, the Kuru, and people of color who are established and well trained in terms of the Kuru's collections. Thank you for the collections board. We did a very good service. Idula, Dr. Nani, we did a very good service for us, and we were fantastic. Yeah. Apologies for Judy. I did not make any bad intentions. They're still our people. So, apologies for me. I did not give any personal offense or that. Uh, thank you all. Everybody watching around the world, you see how elections are conducted. We are the best in everything we do. Team Chess Kenya. Oh, yeah. Okay, just one more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my name is Brian Kidula, signing off as I give it to my colleague. My name is Brian Kidula, it's been a pleasure being with you all this time. It's been exciting just seeing how everything has been conducted. And uh, so anything, uh, this is just going to lie uh, doing our part in uh, making, making the most higher. Um, cheers, thank you for being with us. Remember to like, subscribe and share and uh, support Chess. Make a difference wherever you are. Cheers, God bless. Bye.